Hi, y'all. How's it going? Um, I'm live. Everybody say hi. Hit that like button. Mm -hmm. So I have some things to show you today as well as talk about why it is easy for some to be feminine and hard for others. But we're going to be talking about ways to help yourself feel and become more feminine with, you know, how you look, how you dress, products, etc., etc. I met one of you guys at the mall today. You didn't tell me your name, but came up to me. Uh, Layla and I were shopping, and um, one of the ladies that watched my YouTube channel came up to say hello. So I appreciate saying hi to, um, you know, anyone who recognizes me from YouTube. So thank you. Thank you. So we're going to be talking about ways that you can embrace your femininity through products, makeup, hair, just um, accessories or whatnot. So let's get into it. First of all, um, most feminine women, they like nicer things. Now, they don't have to be super expensive, but they just have to look nice. They have to look feminine, you know, whatever, whatever. So try to get items or clothing or things that represent femininity. If you want to pull it off quick, fast, and in a hurry. You know, if you don't want to have to work extra hard to be feminine, get you some pinks, some jewelry, some little accessories. I know this is not something you could wear to work, but this is my job, so I could wear it on mine. Um, <laughs> but, you know, when you're just out and about, just feeling yourself or whatever, maybe just something, uh, a headband or whatever that's less frilly. But since I really don't have to adhere to any um, dress codes, I pretty much can do what I want. Oh. Next thing is, of course, nails. Okay, so I left my nails bare on purpose because I knew my girl from Expose Beauty was going to send me some more nails. And I'm going to be doing my nails later on in the video with these. Um, but y'all know, I, I did put the... Um, the link in the description bar and she sent me some really nice paint on glue this time with a little brush so that they can go on better and I told her to send me I asked her nicely actually can you send me some shorter nails because I have to do a lot of things that long nails are not going to be helpful so she sent me these really pretty pink and that's just my shirt Beautiful pink nails that are a little bit shorter, but still glam, as you can see. So I'm going to be putting these on later in the video for you guys. And yeah, that's going to be fun. So I did link below these actual nails, the, the direct link, and also a discount code for 35% off. Y'all can go get that. Um, if I forget, y'all remind me to do my nails. <laughs> um, okay, so another thing, uh, jewelry and accessories, like anything dainty, pretty, cute, pearls, hearts, you know, um, my girl from Amor Emergency always sends me beautiful, beautiful jewelry. So, you know, something dainty like this, pearls, really cute, nice, beautiful. I didn't put her link in the description, but I will. Um, it's just a more and then J-N-C-Y. And, of course, she sent me these beautiful pearl earrings. These remind me of the Tiffany earrings that they have. So if you want that style, um, she does have it. So anything that's really dainty and pretty that makes um, you look extra feminine is what you want to be doing. Okay. So it's kind of hard to be masculine and loud and screaming when you have pearls and jewels on and makeup and a little uh, bow in your head, it's kind of hard to be loud, to be, you know, trying to take charge, to try to, you know, be masculine. It's kind of hard to want to, you know, be bold and outspoken when you look like basically 
I don't know, a doll. You know what I'm saying? So it kind of gives you this inner feeling of femininity as well, because oh, you look at yourself, oh, my nails, oh, pink, oh, pearls, oh, oh, my, oh, my jewels, I can't do jewelry, I just did my nail. I mean, I can't do dishes, I can't touch trash, you know, so it kind of gives you an inside feeling of femininity naturally already. Okay, now let's talk about um, this, oh, my nails. So this is a Chanel necklace, but not really. You don't have to have money to look feminine. There are shortcuts around it. There are shortcuts around having things that look luxury or things that feel luxurious because feeling luxurious also comes with femininity. So um, a company reached out to me by the name of Silvax and they make personalized jewelry and they'll, they'll put your name on a piece of jewelry. So I said, my name was Chanel. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. Um, I did have them put Chanel on there because Chanel actually makes a necklace that's very similar to this for thousands of dollars. So I said, you know what? Let me make a name. It's called the Silver Bar Necklace. And I did link it down below and you can put any name you like on it. You can put your name. Um, so I went ahead and made, made me a Chanel necklace or coin. I was smart. What? It's like, wait a minute. Chanel makes my very similar. Ooh, let me see what I can do with that. So, you know, um, a lot of people sell stuff like that on Etsy with pillows and whatnot. So it's fine. Mm -hmm. You can make one too. But I did put the link below if you would like to make you one. Um. And many people do it. So they even have one that's very similar to this, where they have the hanging, um, they have the hanging letters that you can create on Silvax personal main um, jewelry site. So I went ahead and made me this one. And uh, I asked Layla and Sasha if they wanted one. They said, no, we'll lose it. We're too young. You know us. So I said, okay. So I had another one made because they gave me three with my name on it with a little diamond in the middle. This one is in rose gold. Um, I thought this was pretty. And, you know, sometimes when I want to wear a cute necklace with my name on it, I have one. I have one that my um, that my dad sent me a while back as well, but I got to design that one because there's several designs. And then I got another one that says crystalline with the wings on it. This one is actually a gift for someone. They don't know it's a gift for them yet, but they'll be getting it in the mail. So this one, I like it because it has a little angel wings. And I think you can pick your birthstone or whatnot and put that in there. So Silvax, you can get these made for gifts. Um, special occasions, like if you're having a baby shower, um, you know, you can get each of, um, I don't know, the baby's name, or if you're having a wedding, you can get the bridesmaid's name made with these, or something like that. But, or you can go <laughs> glam and get you some Chanel, <laughs> whatever you like. I don't like spending a lot of jewelry. I mean, I don't like spending a lot of money on jewelry unless it's a like an investment piece or if, you know, if somebody else spent the money and bought the jewelry for me. <laughs> so that's one of the things that I like to do is find really good, you know, deals and dupes and stuff like that. So also being feminine is also, you know, preserving yourself. You know, don't go broke and become homeless trying to look cute and be feminine. You know, don't do that. Thank you, Evelor. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you so much for your elite society advice. I hope to meet my true love soon. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Go look in the mirror. There go your true love right there. Now, if you can find a sponsor, that'll be great. 
<laughs> so I, I mix bougie and cheap a lot. That's another one of the things that a lot of feminine women do that y'all probably don't realize. A lot of women mix cheap with expensive. So here is a really cute tote bag that I have by Ted Baker. Um, one of the things is I don't hardly ever pay full price for stuff. I wait till stuff go on sale. And so I bought this really cute tote bag on sale. I carry a lot of stuff in here. When I, I have my laptop, my books, my notebooks or whatever. If I'm going somewhere, if I have extra stuff that I need that won't fit in my purse, I'll carry a tote bag. And I don't want to just look raggedy with any old tote bag. I gotta look cute. I gotta have a little bow. And they were having their end of the year sale. I think they're still having it. I'm not sure. They were having their end of the season sale. So, you know, I got a few things. Um, I, I picked another one up too. This is a more, this is a bigger one, but it's more flimsy. So you can put more, you can step this one with more stuff. It's like a bigger tote. So I got this one too. And while I was in there, y'all know I had to get some more stuff. So I got this cute little makeup bag. Just having stuff like this around you instead of like raggedy makeup bags, dirty makeup bags, stuff that doesn't make you excited to put your makeup on also does not allow you to stay motivated to look your best every day or to be a feminine woman like you can't leave your bathroom dirty, which is also another part of being feminine is keep this stuff clean. You can't leave your bathroom dirty if this is sitting around. <laughs> okay. So this is, yeah, this is cute. It has like gold, gold hardware. And I got a surprise for y'all. I did put the link down there. If you use that particular link, you, you can save $50 on whatever you buy on that site, on, whips, on the typical website. The inside is kind of satiny. It fits a lot. It's a cute. Look at that. It's still not full. Y'all know I have a lot of makeup. So let's see if it'll fit my level of cosmetics brows. Oh, perfect fit. I know those things are long. It can fit all my level of cosmetics in there. My entanglement collection. I can fit all of that. Look, it's huge. So. It's a feminine little makeup bag. Now that's huge, yes. No, I want one for my purse. So they have the little one for your purse too. And it fits a lot. So um, this one is cute in your purse. Now these were on sale, they're usually very expensive, like this was, I think, $23. This was 20 something. I don't know if it was more, I can't remember. This was 20 something. Usually they're like 50 to $60 for, you know, something like this or more. So you can get them pretty cheap if you catch that end of the year sale. But that's another thing. Having feminine, you know, toiletries, bags, totes also keeps you you know looking feminine and feeling feminine when you're walking around let's say the mall or shopping and you have a little cute pink bag with a bow you're going to walk a little extra feminine you're going to talk a little extra soft so it just helps you stay in that mode which a lot of women forget when they come out of that mode um especially if they haven't been raised to be feminine all their lives and it's kind of something new to them. So y'all just remember, keep reminders around you. <laughs> and yes, of course, a smile is the most feminine thing you can have and it's free, right? Mm-hmm. Good coffee. Having things personalized is also a feminine touch. It's also a luxurious touch like I had she would put on a little Starbucks and have a little bling on it. But having things personalized, whether it be pajamas, um, purses, 
jewelry. It's also a feminine touch. I would just do the initials because that's more classy. Um, I bought Layla. She doesn't know yet. I bought Layla some really cute pink satin pajamas with her name embroidered um, on, on the uh, pocket. And then I bought her a... No, it wasn't her name. It was her initials. Then I bought her a, a robe with her name, a pink robe too. So it's just it's just gonna help you feel more feminine and dainty. And I got those off of Etsy for super cheap, cheaper than Victoria's Secret pajamas. You know, you can get something cute, specialized, made for you, and make you feel super dainty. Okay, so y'all check out Etsy as well when it comes to trying to find things to personalize. All right, so gotta have the makeup sponges. Layla, Layla put this in my cart. We found a Miss A, y'all know what Miss A is? We found a Miss A in the mall and that was a mistake because we bought everything up in there. <laughs> Let's see what this is today. I was like, everything, was a dollar, except that bag of makeup sponges because they sold individual ones for a dollar, but all these came out to like a little bit more. So I got this, no, that's not Miss A. So at, you can go to Miss A and get some really cute feminine stuff, even on their online store, everything's a dollar, okay? So look at this really pretty rhinestone clip. One of these little clips that I'm always wearing. You could just put it on the side of your hair. A dollar. Thank you, Jordan. How to feel confident without makeup in the morning, nights with your partner. Good skincare. Good skincare, good moisturizer. And I do have some skincare I'm going to show. Brush your teeth, have good breath. Brush your hair. Comb your eyebrows, baby. Put a little bit of... Um, Highlighter on with your finger so you have that glow. It looks like you have perfect skin, but keep your skin nice and just put a little bit of highlighter on and you're good to go. Keep your breath nice. Make sure your hair is calm. That's how you feel confident. But everything else looks good. And wear something feminine and pretty. Don't wear anything ugly because he's going to look at this, 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 and it's all going to add up to ugh. But if you're wearing like something pretty lacy, pink or satin, you have nice skin and your hair is combed and your breath is good. You have on some little cute slippers. It's all going to work for you. Okay. So you said teeth whitening strips. Put some chapstick on too while you're at it. Make sure you're not ashy. Put some lotion. You know. And, and make sure you smell good. Put some perfume on. <laughs> that way when he looks at you with no makeup on, he still sees a feminine, beautiful woman. All right, so I got these little cute pearl um, hair hair clips. They're like, yeah, they're clips and bobby pins. These are always cute to accessorize in your hair, whether you're doing a bun, a ponytail, half up, half down hair, whatever. Anything like this adds femininity to your look. Okay? I got this from Miss A2, y'all. A dollar and any type of cute earrings. These brands I got from Miss A. It's called Crystal Collection. Miss A is a dollar shop online, or they have them in the mall where I live now. I also got these really pretty heart earrings. They're like pearls from Miss A. A dollar. These look expensive, but they were only a dollar. So try to find it. Expensive looking stuff, which is mostly pearls, diamonds, anything that looks feminine and kind of high end. You want to get you want to stay away from stuff that doesn't like if you're going to buy cheap, stay away from stuff that looks cheap and, and go for more of the pearl, diamond and gold or silver look. Okay? You can be bougie on a budget, baby. <laughs> um. What else do I have in my bag? <laughs> oh, let's go into perfumes. Okay, so a lot of people can't afford the most expensive perfumes. So y'all know how they have those 
kiosks in the mall with the dupe perfumes. Well, you can wear those if you cannot afford expensive perfume. Okay, so I'm going to show you two that stood out to me that I really like. Y'all know when you pass by the little lady in the mall, got that little piece of paper, you want to smell some perfume? That didn't stop me, but when I saw this bottle, that's what got me, the bottle. Okay, I love, 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 love bottles. So if you have a beautiful bottle, I'm buying a perfume. Thank you, Michaela Huffman, Sprinkle Sprinkle. How do you protect your hair at night? Bonnets can be, get you a satin pillowcase and wear your hair, like moisturize your hair, and put, get you a satin pillowcase. And put it up in a bun or a ponytail or braid it or something. If you don't want to wear a bonnet. Okay, so this is supposed to be a dupe for Kim Kardashian's perfume. I think it was the Gardenia. I don't know which one it was, but look at the bottle. It's a white rose with rose gold on it. So, and it's glass. So this is called Kimberly Le Femme. Of course, we're not going to display that. We're going to display this side. And this just looks like a very, you know, vintagey old perfume bottle. So that's why I bought it. And it smells just like the Kim K. Because I have the real, you know, I got it for a birthday gift. And I smelled it. And it smells just like, it. you know, of course, that one smells a little bit more extra. This one smells just so, um, smells good like gardenia. You like gardenia? It's a light floral gardenia scent. And it's called Kimberly Le Fim. Okay. So if you don't want to buy expensive perfume, but you want to smell good, those mall kiosks sell. Decent perfume, and I love the bottles. Only reason I ever buy those is for the bottles. It's the only reason because they have some cute bottles, and I like to decorate with bottles. Okay, and they smell good. Some of them. Okay, the other one I got, I got Layla one too. She wanted it, so she got some type of juicy couture uh, looking one. You know. Um, okay, so this one, it's like a Miss Dior. Look at that bottle. The same. Miss Dior. This one smells so much like the real Miss Dior. Um, because I did Layla. I let I made Layla smell the real one. I have the real one, but I bought it for the bottle. So I have this one, and then I have this one. So uh, if you want to be really ratchet you could get some some labels some sticky label paper and print out miss dior and stick it on here because the bottle is almost identical um but <laughs> i did like the bottle so i bought it and i will just display it um on my vanity or something no one's going to come and read it up close or i can just turn it around or something but it's very cute and it smells like the real stuff so, it even has the same pink perfume in it. So, um, oh, I'll get, I'll get into that haul later because that was a gift from someone. I forgot that. So, you can still be bougie and not spend a lot of money and still be feminine, okay? And you can still decorate your, your little vanity area and look cute with nice little bottles and things like that. Okay. I have some gifts that people sent me, so I'll to show that later. Oh, I also got this little pencil brush from uh, Miss A um, because I needed another one. Okay, what else? Okay, I found this other little cheap store in the mall, and I got a giant pink scrunchie. You can't get more feminine than this. If you if you have hair and you want to put your hair in a bun or a Hey, Percy, do you know what you're going to wear the night before or you wake up and decide? depends on how you feel. It depends on where I'm going. And, um, like, if I know I'm going somewhere and I've been planning it for a while, I'm going to pick my outfit, of course, way before. 
But if I don't know where I'm going and I wake up and end up just going anywhere, I pick according to how I feel that day and where I'm going. Because, you know, for women, it's different. We got to know what shoes to wear, you know, how how short our dress can be, <laughs> how much boobs we can show. Are we going to be around kids, adults? So it's kind of like that. But thank you, Purchase for people. So this reminds me of that movie Heathers. Y'all remember that movie Heathers where they had the giant scrunchie? But I'm Heather now. Except that hers was red. Anyway, I think that's cute. I really wouldn't wear this a little too old. But this is more for like at home lounging or just getting your hair out of your face when you're trying to do your nails and whatnot. Um, I also got this really cute bracelet set in pinks with pearls and rhinestones. This is from a store called Mad Rag. It's kind of like a gossip. He's in the mall. And so just like little cute stuff like this. <laughs> you love that name, Heather? Oh, that movie? Yeah, that movie was good. Very dark and sinister, yet girly and strange. Sort of like me. All right. Let me show you some other stuff. Good or cold. Okay. Then I got to do my nails for y'all. All right, so I also got these from Miss A. They're just some makeup wipes. Always got to have clean, nice skin, especially if you're going to wear makeup. That's another thing. Um, take care of your skin. That's a very huge part of being feminine, having soft skin, nice skin, um, and skin that people want to touch or look at and make you look soft so that they see you as the softer gender, okay? So anything that makes you look soft, especially your skin, that's what you need to be doing. Okay. Yes. Okay. So I, I was sent a very nice gift and there's a lot of nice products. Thank you, Lily. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, what do I recommend to make legs smooth and even toned? Um, exfoliation. Um, I have a Duval spin brush and it comes with different attachments. And if you watch one of my older videos on my beauty channel, I have like a discount code, but um, they have a big one for your body and you can take it in the shower. It's like a big brush head and it spins and you can like exfoliate your legs and brush. And it also helps um, stimulate your blood flow in your legs. So it lessens any, you know, dimples or whatnot. But definitely exfoliate, even if you have like a sugar scrub or a salt scrub or whatever. Exfoliation. Sprinkle, sprinkle. And um, yeah, I need to actually do more of that as well. Now that it's summer and I'm almost back to school, so I don't know. So anyway, let's get into what someone sent me. But when you take care of yourself, people send you nice things as well. So your gifts are going to be better. The more feminine you are, the more you take care of yourself, the better gifts you get. Okay. So let's put that out there. Oh, and I forgot to show y'all a mask that I bought. Isn't it cute? So um, it's like a little floral mask. It's, it may, it's like made out of like this stretchy material. That's kind of like leggings. <laughs> And y'all make sure, since um, people are wearing those masks, make sure you keep your skin clean um, because those masks will irritate you. Speaking of skin, like I said, someone sent me a very uh, nice package of um, Sephora makeup, name brands and everything. So the first thing I got was this fresh soy face cleanser. I'm going to be trying this out. So this is for all skin types rich in amino acids. So I, I have tried Fresh before and their moisturizer and I love it. I've tried a lot of their moisturizers are great. So I'm going to be trying this. So it's always nice to get nice gifts. I also got, they also sent me some deodorant, some fresh sugar roll on deodorant. Antiport. They must think I'm musty, but that's another thing about being feminine. You're never musty. You are never musty. You always smell good. You always smell fresh. So if you are musty, you are not feminine, period. <laughs> so 
some of y'all are musty right now, but that's okay. You know, you're not going to tell nobody. You're going to go in there and take care of that. <laughs> okay. The next thing they sent me was this black tea firming corset cream. Ooh, corset cream for face and neck with firming goji fruit extract cream corset. I guess because like a corset sucks you in and it like firms up everything and it's like, you know, pull in everything. That's that's what I need. You get old. A feminine lady never grows old. She tries to fight it. Okay. As much as she can. So this is what the little jar looks like. Mm, it's nice. The black tea. Wait, there's that black tea. Let's see what this looks like. I'm just gonna twist it to get it. Mm. So it's creamy. It smells really good. Put some on my neck. So this on my Don't forget that neck either, y'all. Like your face, your neck is part of your face. So when you moisturize and wash and exfoliate, get that neck. A nice neck is very feminine. It smells really good. Like Fresh ingredients. I guess the name is fresh. Mm. And if you have extra on your hand, on your finger, put it on the back of your hands. So you know them hands be getting old. So um, put it on the back of your hand. Don't waste it. Mm. Okay, next thing I was sent is a sugar dream advanced therapy sheer pink lip treatment. So um it's cute. I gotta do my. I'm, I, oh yeah, I can't remember. I, gotta, I can't forget. I gotta do my nails because I, I didn't do them on purpose so that I can do them here. All right. So it looks like this. It has a cooling sensation when you put it on. It feels cool, and it smells so good, y'all. And I guess I have to wipe off my lipstick and show y'all, but I really don't want to. I'll just show you on my hand. It gives you like a little cute just a pink tint and it also shines like iridescent but it's clear just a pink tint and it's really pretty like if you're just going to be lounging around the house I could, you can even put it over your lip thank you Percy if you can just be lounging around the house and you don't want to wear makeup put this on all your followers that I tell all your followers I am rich and I am taking sugar daddy apps okay Percy y'all heard Percy he said he rich and he's taking apps for sugar babies. Okay, Percy. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you. Y'all heard him. I don't know. I can't vouch for that, but he do donate, so I don't know. Y'all going to have to find out? I don't know. Yeah, find out. Come back and tell us. So, they also sent me this. Gibon Chi, sorry about that noise. This Gibon Chi little bag. It's like a little Gibon Chi perfume coin purse. I think I'm going to give this to someone else. I'm going to give that to someone. Because I don't really have a lot of, you know, things that are going to fit in here. This is really small. But I will give it away. <laughs> okay. That's probably. Oh, I think I forgot the main thing. I forgot the most luxurious stuff. I saved the best for the last. So, guess what else they sent me? Christian Dior, baby. This red ultra in 999's ultra care. Sent me this Christian Dior lippy. They also sent me some Miss Dior perfume. I already showed y'all that, but that came with it. They also sent me some Dior lip gloss. This is a really pretty lip gloss. I've already tried it on. I just put it on over this. It smells like champagne. Like if y'all, <laughs> this smells like champagne. This color is, I can't see because I'm blind. 
I don't know. This orangey pink color. <laughs> um, but it's really pretty. It smells like champagne. Hmm. It's not like a greasy gloss. It's more of a jelly gloss. You know what I'm saying? So it's not going to get all sticky. Um, oh, I forgot to show y'all this. I'm giving this to Layla. But it's a fresh sugar watermelon hydrating lip balm. Fresh. She already put her lips on it, as you can see. So this is Layla's. It smells really good. I also got sent Dior Show Mascara. Three of them, actually. They be spoiling me. People spoil me. I don't. You get spoiled when you like, when you have standards. You know, they're not going to come with, you know, even though I might shop Miss A, they're going to come with some of you or, huh? I mean, the next. They sent me two more in brown and in blue. I think I'm going to give these to someone that I know that will appreciate that. And then, of course, the Dior eyeshadow. Now, this is a luxury makeup in itself. And it's like, you know, the brown, it's just the neutral colors. Comes with the liner and the two little brushes. So they sent me that. Very nice. And then it has a little velvet case to keep it from being scratched. Huh. And so having nice things, feminine things, girly things will help keep you feeling feminine, help people view you as feminine, help people treat you as feminine, help people recognize you as feminine and, you know, consider you in a certain way. So there's more to femininity than just acting. There's everything. It's like playing a role. It's like playing a role. When you're an actress, and when you play a role, you have a wardrobe, you have accessories, you have a personality, you have a um, color, uh, what you call it? I don't know. A color theme and... That's your character. So if you're trying to you know, pursue femininity, then you have to create your own personalized feminine characteristics or character traits about yourself. You get like a notebook, like everything you do should revolve around your characteristics. Like if you are trying to really too hard to work on your femininity, don't buy anything blue, green, black, that you're going to be, you know, um, showing or presenting a lot around other people. Keep that for you, you know, private. But say, oh, I have a notebook. Let me open my notebook. You got a little pink notebook. You got little pens, you know. They don't have to be all extra. They can just be like this, you know. But as long as people associate you with this, 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 they see you as feminine, period. Now, if you're walking around with, hold on, this part because I took all the masculine stuff out. But if you're walking around with, like, you know, a big black notebook with, um, you know, a masculine looking purse and stuff like that, and, a, you know, masculine pants on and, you know, darker colors, they're going to see, you, they're not going to see you. As well. Thank you, Katie. Every time I want to give up on life, I remember your inspiring words, and it makes me feel inspired to level up and be happy. So thanks for your oh, thank you, Katie. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I'm glad I can be your inspiration. Thank you, appreciate that. Um, and another thing, like if anybody gives you a gift, if anybody invites you somewhere or whatever, if you want to be extra super feminine, and you know their address and whatnot, you can send them a thank you card on very nice stationery or you know cards or whatever if I always send a thank you card this will just ugh, 
oh my God, how classy. Thank you, Claude. You know, um, especially around the holidays or for birthday gifts and stuff like that. That's just a little extra. You don't have to do that. That's just a little extra touch if you really try and get that, you know, attention and that address. Oh, I would really love to send you a thank you card. Where should I send it? Don't say give me your address because that's stalkerish. I would really love to send you a thank you card. Where where should I send it? Don't say where can I send it. Don't say what is your address. Where can I send it? It's like basically I'm not really trying to stalk you. I'm just trying to thank you. I'm trying to see where you live, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Did I miss Jordan's super chat? I thought I got it. Thank you, Jordan. If I if I missed you, I'm sorry. I didn't see it. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Let me see. Even with good skin and highlighter, how do I feel confident in front of a partner instead of ashamed of without eye makeup when I look less attractive? Um, get you some... Uh, okay, so you know how they have those... Per I don't know if they're permanent, but like... You go and get your lashes put on and they stay on for a long time. Do that. <laughs> if you need lashes. Um, if you feel that, you know, if you feel that bad without eye makeup, maybe you can look into the, what do they call it? Micro whatever for your eyebrows. And um, maybe some lashes or whatever. That way, even without makeup, it's still there. Lash extensions. Yeah, lash extensions. That's what it is. Get you some lash extensions put on. They stay on for a while. You do that microblading on your eyebrow. That should be good enough. You know. What lashes am I wearing? Why well, I'm wearing Level Up Cosmetics lashes, of course. <laughs> My magnetic lashes by Level Up Cosmetics. Um, let's see. I'll show y'all. That's what they look like in the box. They come with the liner, the magnetic liner, and then you just stick these to the liner. So, yes, level up cosmetics, baby. I also have the kind that aren't magnetic, and they're just the 3D meat lashes. So, um, you can get those too if you don't like magnetic. Sprinkle, sprinkle. My Level Up Cosmetics site is also below, which is levelupcosmetics.us, baby. No, leave the baby off. I should do it. So this is not really what I intended to wear. With that. I was just showing you guys this giant scrunchie I got. Um, yeah. So thank you so much, Riviana. Sprinkle, sprinkle are there mods here we got unfeminine trolls no i don't really have mods but thank you for letting me know sprinkle sprinkle there's always going to be some unfeminine women which make other women look even more feminine so just realize that um less feminine women are going to make you look more feminine so even though even on my channel i'll troll back but in public, I will not even address it. I'll be like, <laughs> I'm not associated with that, you know. So I'm, I am so, I don't even, um, I play stupid and dumb when it comes to anyone that has some sort of attitude with me. I'm like, I'm too good to even acknowledge you. <laughs> So that helps you look extra feminine when you don't even acknowledge it. Your accountant told you to donate again for tax purposes. Rich man problems. Thank you, Percy. Sprinkle, sprinkle. If you, $5. <laughs> well, thank you. I still appreciate it. If you're going to be here for a while, you know, keep going. I appreciate it. Tell your tax, I mean, tell your accountant I appreciate his tax advice. You can write that off. You can write that off. Shira, could you talk about feminine psychology and personality, how to exude feminine energy and behave in a feminine manner? Build your character. Read romance novels. Sadly, those silly romance novels 
have women feeling so helpless. I, I used to read them when I was younger and I'm like, this woman is helpless. <laughs> and I was like, but this man always coming through. Um, she be crying. <laughs> read some of those romance novels for um a lot of the to get inside of the head to get let's say to get inside of the head but remember you're not actually you know um vulnerable you're acting vulnerable so to act vulnerable and to need help is a feminine characteristic and you know psychologically males naturally respond to that because they are the big strong muscular masculine protective types if they come in contact with the exact opposite which is a vulnerable smaller weaker um you know dainty feminine their their masculinity is going to kick in and they're automatically going to respond to um helping you you don't even have to ask but if you're loud obnoxious masculine yourself, they're actually repelled. So being feminine attracts masculinity naturally. It's like a magnet. So you just walk around and you always ask for help even if you don't need it. <laughs> and, and when you ask, you need to look a feminine, you have to look feminine, you have to sound feminine, and you have to really truly sound like you really need the help. So for example, you'd be like, excuse me, I really need your help. I mean, what, that sounds better than, excuse me, can you help me? I have a question, you know? And you, like, especially when you're in a store or you bump into someone in the store and you want, you know, to have a conversation or whatnot. You don't say, excuse me, do you know ABC? Do you say, excuse me, pause. Get Let him hear that voice. Let him be like, okay, mm -hmm, I'm feeling that. I really, when you say really, you shake your head like this. Like you're taking him, do, do, do. He's following you now. You, this is the hypnosis aspect of it. And this is the psychology of it. Y'all ask what a psychologist? Snake charmer, okay? Excuse me. Present your neck, vulnerability. Excuse me. Pause. Hmm? Let him register. I really need your help. Now he's following you. He's got it. Would you mind? Don't say, do you know, could you do, would you mind? That, that means he has a choice, but he really don't have a choice because you're hypnotizing. Would you mind helping me with A, B, C, and D? And now, you know, make the eye contact and wait for the answer. If, if, if you make eye contact before he can answer, his answer is going to be yes, period. <laughs> so, Nick, pause after you ask. Snake charm. Tell him what you need, but make eye contact when you ask the question. Would you mind? Hold the eye contact until you get the answer. There's the feminine charm. Okay. Um, you can't be shy. You can act shy, but you can't be shy to create this, you know, combination when you're out and about. And it's going to seem silly, but not to him. It's going to, you're going to seem silly to yourself. You're going to seem silly to some, you know, masculine chick over here watching you ask some dude, like you're helpless and can't do nothing for yourself. But at the end of the day, you're going to get the rewards. <laughs> okay. 
So just think about it. Um, it's, it's a fantasy. If, if, a, if a woman approached a man like that, he would definitely be down for whatever she was asking him, ready to, you know, haul a giant chair to her car, you know, if she was in the store, um, he would do it. Thank you, New Dawn Sprinkle Sprinkle. You're such a blessing. I needed to remember who I was before my bar built, Barbara the Builder 20 year marriage, paying tithes to the church for my cash app. Oh, thank you, New Dawn. 11 11 girl Sprinkle Sprinkle. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. So, as long as you ask in the correct way, and he, he's hooked. He's going to say, well, I can help you. I, I do my best. You know, let me call my friend so he can help too. He's from the other end of the store. He, they're going to bring back up. So, you know, don't be afraid to ask, even if you don't need help. Even if you don't. Now, I've seen, a, I saw a woman carrying a whole giant table or chair, piece of furniture or something outside of the store by herself. And I'm like, I never, that never happens to me. First, first of all, the way I'm dressed says I can't carry nothing. Second of all, people volunteer to help, especially if you look a certain way. They volunteer. And if they don't volunteer, if you ask, they're going to say yes, period. So that's why it's so important to look the, to walk the walk, talk the talk, dress the part, because that's what, you know, that's what you, it works the same way for men. Like, I know there's some guys here. If you dress like, you know, women find attractive, you, you know, if you're well put together, you smell good, you clean, you know, got on decent clothes and not no junior high, junior high school outfit. And you, you get that deep voice going, you look her in the eye. You all know how to, you all know how it works. Y'all know how it works. Excuse me, ma'am. I just want to ask you a question. You think he's going to ask you for your phone number? Um, I'm shopping for my wife. <laughs> Do you think she would like this? You like... <laughs> ah, that's how you can get them, if you, you know. See if you still got it. <laughs> Stay true to myself. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I just gave birth to his second child six months ago. He wanted to buy a home for us, but he's telling me not to get a job to save up for a house. This is too much for me. What should I do? He's telling you to get a job. Well, sprinkle, sprinkle. Tell him. Uh... Oh, thank you for the donation, by the way. Show them how much daycare costs. Go and find the most expensive daycare. And print that out for them. And say, okay, I'll get a job if you pay daycare. And, and, and hand them that uh, quote of how much the daycare costs, okay? It's cheaper for you to stay home. So, so you want me to put my child in daycare with the coronavirus? You want me to put, get, make a baby mask when children die of infant death syndrome because they stop breathing? You want me to put a mask over their face, put them in daycare with other people that they're not immune to because you too sorry <laughs> to go out and be the man you're supposed to be. Okay. <laughs> I'll do it if you pay for daycare. You go to bill. And the down payment, the registration fee. You want you gonna pay for it? Believe me, you you get get right back comfortable where you are because you ain't going nowhere. Being feminine is also being witty and smart and clever, but not telling anyone. It's like, okay, I'll get a job only if you pay for daycare. Okay. Bring out that daycare form. 
how much it costs and go ahead and hand it to them. Here you go. Oh, I didn't know daycare was that much. Oh, it, it is. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, goddess of euphoria. <laughs> she says, Black women, I think y'all would be a lot more feminine if you stopped asking other Black women if their hair is theirs. <laughs> Unless the video says wig review, extension review, you should not ask unless you're at a wig convention in a wig store in a beauty shop thou shall not ask if hair is real period okay because uh if you do it is very unfeminine it's very ratchet a little bit um but like i understand because y'all ask me i'll tell y'all on, on the channel whatnot but in public don't do that in public like that's your real hair, you know. On here, I'm good. I don't mind. Um, this is my real hair, and then I have some clip-in extensions. Just so y'all know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I said a weird convention. Y'all know I'm extra when I describe stuff. That's how I keep my kids in check. I'm extra with the details. My kids don't have to le learn the hard way because I'm telling them with grotesque details. Because they will just picture it. And that will be the end of that. <laughs> so, when someone asks in public, where do you get your weed from? Um, so where was I? Okay. Yeah. I was talking about how to stay home. If you're a new mother, yeah. Print that daycare bill out. You'll be fine. Uh, another thing is hang around other feminine people. If you're going to hang out with anybody, if all your friends are masculine and you know, you hanging out with them, you're going to revert back to those ways unknowingly or by accident. So Try to either make new friends or hang out by yourself so that your femininity becomes a habit to where you can hang around anyone and you'll still remain the feminine one. And a lot of people, this is why a lot of people get mad and jealous because you make them look bad just by being feminine. You make other people who are not very feminine look bad compared to you on how you carry yourself, how you walk, talk, dress, and they'll mention something, a little snide remark, y'all know, a little hating remarks. But you have to understand they're recognizing, they're recognizing your femininity. And it's threatening to them because they have masculine energy. And they know that you're gonna attract the attention that they can't attract. So that's why it's very, very important to remain feminine even around masculine women. <laughs> Don't let Pikmisha call you uppity. Uppity is a compliment. What am I supposed to be, down in the ground? I'm uppity. Yes, I am. And Don't you forget. <laughs> This is my cut when I go to Starbucks. I am uppity. They can't call you uppity if you know you uppity. If you already just say yes. <laughs> and thank you. Thank you for recognizing. Do I think weight is perceived as masculine? It depends on how you carry yourself. I have seen some very feminine women who were plus size. And I've seen some very feminine women, um, they take care of themselves. So be doing my nails, y'all forgot to remind me. As long as you take care of yourself to the maximum, you can be feminine. I have seen so many beautiful 
plus size um, feminine women that have taught me a thing or two. You know, I, I mean, of course, I was plus size, but I'm saying before that, you know, it's just how you were raised or how you de de um, how you decide. Some people aren't raised that way to be feminine, but how you decide to be feminine. Um, so, of course, but you just have to dress for your body type. You have to always smell good, be clean, nails done, hair done. You know, um, don't wear stuff that's too small. Make sure your clothing is, you know, tailored to how your body is. That's very important. Um, stay appropriate. Because I've seen a lot of plus size women that if, as long as you stay appropriate, you're very attractive, period. Um, so I'm getting ready to do my nails. So I'm gonna get my little nails in here, my little glue, my little tools. I'm about to get this glue on. Your man has no time for you? That's because you have too much time for him. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Really listen to what I just said. Your man has no time for you because you have too much time for him. Thank you, Laugh Clown Sprinkle Sprinkle. Are there any 4C hairstyles that rich men like? I don't know. I don't really ask what, like, I don't really ask men what type of hairstyle they like. But um, I'm pretty sure men like any type of woman, depending on their preference or whatever that they're attracted to. So, um, I don't know. You'd have to ask someone who has um, experienced. I'm sure there's somebody in the comment section that can probably answer your question. <laughs> the wall is undefeated. Yeah, to your wallet. No, nope, your wallet has hit the wall, sir. That's why you up in here instead of doing something else. Ah, the wall is undefeated, especially after your wallet hitting it, sir. All right, so I'm just buffing my nails on the top so that the glue can stick to it better. Can't get us. We're going to get you first. But we can get, we can get stuff done. You can't. You got to actually do the work. How do I let him know that I like certain flowers from a certain store that are club? What? That could surprise me with in the future. What in the world? Oh, she sent me two sets. Y'all should, okay. Should I do the French? She sent me some square French. Should I do the square French or the pink? I think you should tell him that you like flowers. Because then he'll think another man sent you flowers from there. So you got to make up a story. Oh my God, this lady that I follow on Instagram, she has these beautiful flowers like every day. She starts with flowers there from this place. I always um, wish I could get some flowers from there. Just make up something like you've never gotten them from there before. So I do the light pink or should I do the French? French. Just I'm asking. Pink or French? Pink, 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 French, pink. People are saying both. So here's the pink. Let the father part off. This looks a little too big though. Black pink. It's like that jelly see through. You like that? Or kind of, yeah. Or French. Let me see y'all. I'll show y'all the French. French reminds me of, like, today on the, um, excuse me, ladies. Yes, today on the fundraiser, we're going to be doing a tea and then we're going to be doing a that this this is this reminds me of like society woman, and the pink reminds me of more of just a 
to stay feminine. Look, I'm going to do the pink, but I really like the French. I might do the French mix manicure. And look at all the nails you get. Look how many you get. You get like extras, extras, not just a few that will go on. But you get the extras in case your thumb is bigger. And you have like a couple sizes to choose from. Those French were pretty though. I'm not gonna lie. Y'all will see them on, I promise. They give me like high society class, classy fundraiser Karen. I don't know. Right. French is a classic. So I'm gonna be using this beautiful brush on glue. It's less messy. You can just brush it on like nail polish. That way it doesn't drip everywhere and get all over your fingertips. It's just regular super glue. And you just hold it for a couple seconds. Where you can where you can't wear heels all the time. What? Why you can't wear heels all the time? Do you get dressed for the camera? I get dressed, period. I went to the mall earlier. I came home and changed. Um, I get, like, for me, since we're, like, a lot of people don't go anywhere because of the quarantine, I get dressed for fun. Like, I have a lot of clothes in my closet, and I get dressed for me. I get dressed on how I feel that day, how I want to feel that day. You know, um, I already know if I walk around the house, and pink and skirts and, and little shoes. I'm not I'm not gonna be doing nothing but walking around the house. You know what I mean? Um <laughs> so if you don't want to be asked to do certain things, walk around your house cute all day. Okay. Have you ever talked yourself out of a traffic ticket? Of course. Mm -hmm. Look into their eyes. Look, look down and look up. Look into their eyes. I just told them I was a mortician and they let me go. I don't know. I don't know why that works, but it does. Well, where are you on your way to? I'm on my way to work. Or where do you work? Such and such funeral home. Oh. Yes. Try that. It'll work. I bury the dead. They like take it back and they're like, oh, okay. Well. Then they like, I remember I got stopped one time when I was younger. And I actually did work at a funeral home. They were trying to tell me a story. I discovered a dead body the other day. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I was uh, this car parked on the side of the road and had been there for like a day. And so I, I, I pulled up behind it and there was no movement. It was, you know, somebody had just died in the car. We had gunshot wound. They had committed suicide. I'm like, wow, okay. <laughs> He said, I'm going to let you go this time with a warning, but slow down. Say thank you. <laughs> you keep meeting the wrong dudes. Each one of me has drama or doesn't have a good job. You have to look like you only deal with people with good jobs, period. Like, what do you, what do you look like? I don't know. If you, if that's, do you have the red hair in your picture? Is that, I'm trying to look at your profile picture. Do you have red hair? Or is that just the tint or the filter? Thank you. Sorry about the loud filing noise. Thank you, Google accounts for this paper. You see, you see blue hair? That's the filter? Okay. 
So where do you meet these men at? Are you meeting them? You know, it also, also location has a lot to do with where, with who you're gonna get, who you're gonna run into. Are you meeting them in the rich areas? Are you meeting them where drinks cost $20? Online, girl, online is free. Period. No, that's why you keep me broke man because it's free. I told y'all about that online. If you the only only way to, to meet someone rich online is to go through a paid online site where people have actually have to pay to be on there. Where they have their money deducted on a monthly basis. Because they have a bank account and they don't mind paying to meet women. So I suggest either only going to those type of websites or meeting men in person. Yeah. And also, depending on what age, what age are you aiming for? You know, are you aiming too young? Most young guys don't have their lives together. So you're not going to find someone with everything all together if you're looking for a younger men. Just this is how you think about it. Whatever age that you are, when you have everything you want, or when you have everything together on the scale that you want a man to have anything, everything together. That's the age you need to start start at, not even end at, but start at. So if you want a man to have a house, a good paying salary, able to afford nice gifts for you, then that's whatever age you feel like you would be when you were able to do that for yourself, that's what age you need to start at and then go up with men. Okay. okay. If James wanted another wife, would you let him? I don't think he would, though. <laughs> I don't think women, I don't think he could handle another wife. <laughs> I think I'm enough. Okay. That'll just put him in the grave faster. What you talking about? And I'm not splitting no insurance. Period. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, I'm trying to find one from the middle. Yes, this this is the wall. But yeah, I definitely don't think that that's going to happen. <laughs> My pinky one. Here we go. <laughs> How soon do I need to wait before suggesting that the next gift I need from a man I know will provide it? Okay. Just tell them what you just talk about what you want. Like in every conversation until it appears. I saw this really cute necklace the other day at such and such store. It's really pretty. I mean, it would look so good on me. Hmm. Well, a girl could only dream. <laughs> okay. A girl could only dream. Sure, I've gotten told I'm pretty my whole life, and guys stare at me all the time, but no one asks. I don't get asked. Do you look like you're a nice, friendly person that will say yes? Or do they fear the rejection that you might give them? Or they are not good enough for you? Like some men feel like that they're not good enough for you because you're so beautiful. And maybe they're not able to feel like they're good enough or that you will like them as much as they like you. You know, so maybe you need to. 
find someone that is more masculine, that knows what they want and not afraid of rejection. You need like a really strong, like alpha type man, an extra masculine man, they'll ask you out. Um, I'm always in a good mood. How do I do it? I mean, lifestyle has a lot to do with your mood. You know, um, I don't have a lot of stress in my life. So that probably is the main thing. I don't have stress. And when you don't have stress, there's nothing that's, you know, upsetting to you. So it's probably just because I don't have a lot of stress in my life. And I feel that unless you're focusing on the solution, the problem is not going to solve itself. So why focus on something if it's not the solution? You know, um, that's how I feel about it. Like, there's no sense of, like, you know, the saying, you can't, there's no sense of crying over spilt milk. It's the same thing. You can't undo the spilt milk. You just got to clean it up. Okay. And I think like the mood also comes from knowing your power, your feminine power. You can get whatever you want in this world if you know how to use it. So just walk around pretty much unbothered. Thank you, Malaya. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You, a guy gave you $650 just because he saw me walking down the aisle at Saks Fifth Avenue. Thanks again for your advice. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Girl, sprinkle, sprinkle. Girl, Saks, Saks must be the spot. Was he African? Was he African? I was in Saks one time and something similar happened. I was looking at, I was trying on the sunglasses. And this guy kept commenting, oh, you look good in those. You look good in those. You should get those, definitely. I was like, nah. He's like, I'm a bomb for you. You can see nothing but a word. They were these Versace sunglasses. So I, I said, okay. Thank you. Didn't ask me for no number or nothing. Just gave it. Just paid. <laughs> right. Do I think James would want an additional one? We don't live in one of them. We're not hotel, number one. Number two, we don't live in one of them states where it's even legal. Number three, if you have me, you don't want nobody else, period. <laughs> okay. I'm enough, baby. Right? Believe me. Unless she the maid, I don't look. You're going to be just clean up for free. I don't mind. <laughs> the maid wife? Sure. You ain't going to get no papers or nothing, though. You ain't gonna get no documents, you're just gonna be the cleaner. I don't want to exploit anyone, but that would be the only possible wife type situation that would be going on over here. <laughs> right? You how well do you clean? We're interviewing wives, aka maids. You can have all my old clothes. <laughs> I'm serious. Like there ain't no, uh, there's no room for another woman in this house. I am enough, believe me. To me, unless you live in a culture that that is um, a part of, then you can't you can't really um, expect people that didn't grow up in that culture to fully embrace that idea mm -hmm. especially in America where women are not like in other countries I mean there's a, they made the song America Wonder for a reason okay have I ever dealt with depression nope like um, when you're a teenager, oh, you know, you go through that emo phase, but no other than that, no. 
I don't like the the world is what you make it. If you want to do something, get up and go do it, baby. You're, I don't have room for for anything but moving forward. That's how I think. It's change your thinking, change your life, basically. Change your thoughts, change your life. That's my motto. The mental level up is the most important part. You know, change your diet. Maybe your diet is causing depression. Thank you, Cherry Dawn. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> you ever met a depressed vegan? I don't know. I don't know. Change your diet. See if that helps. <laughs> you say you. I don't know. Just figure it out. Change everything. Do everything different, and see if that helps. Cause and effect. What is causing your depression? Fix it. I'm a Pisces, and it's hard for me to move on and let go. My husband left me now. I just feel shock. Stuck, girl. I'll be in the club the next day. What are you talking about? You're free. You ain't stuck. You're free. It's like somebody being chained up in a cage for 20 years and the cage is open and you don't have no chain. You, but you're sitting there stuck. Get up and go be free. You are free for the next one. You get another chapter. You can't stay stuck in chapter five. Get up and move on. Okay, I'm a Pisces too, but um, I can't wait to see what happens next. I already knew know what happened before. I need to see what's getting ready to happen next. Okay, I need to see what else I can still do. I need to see if I still got it. I know I still got it. I'm not gonna sit there and look in, in the rear view mirror. I got, I'm getting up and I'm moving forward, period. If you can't do the same, you don't want to. If he already moved forward, then you being a pygmesia. Sometimes you just need to hear harsh words because it's the truth. Nobody else is going to tell you that. Well, you need to be told. It's, you know, Get up and go move on to your next chapter in life. Thank you, boss babe mentality. Love you, Sheer. Looking amazing. Finding my worth, getting bills paid, starting a business, making wiser choices, and leveling up each day. You're an amazing woman and such an inspiration. Love from Toronto. Oh, thank you, boss. Boss babe mentality. I like, I like your lashes too, girl. Your makeup look done on your profile. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay, I'm almost done, y'all. These look very natural. Very feminine. All right. Next. I like trying to multitask too. If you can, women are very good at multitasking. So if you ever feel overwhelmed with something, try multitasking. You know, like I think, oh, I got to do my nails. Oh, I got to do a video. Oh, I got to do this. I'm doing it at the same time. Mm -hmm. so I, I make it work what if it's hard to keep up with your hair how to stay fly when you're tired of doing it right, get a wig spring sprinkle whywigs.com when I don't feel like doing my hair which is most of the time I, I put a wig on <laughs> that looks close to my real hair so we're like people won't be able to tell if they don't know, if they don't know you, that it's not a wig, that it's a wig. That's what I'm gonna say. So find a wig that look like your hair, and put that on when you get tired of doing your hair or when you don't do your hair, and then make it a point to go do your hair when you get home or when you have the time. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Is it masculine to be fit? It's not masculine to be fit if you wear feminine clothing. You know? <laughs> mm -hmm. 
You said wigs are going scarce about to invest in some clip-ins. Yeah. I think I have someone sending me some clip-ins and I, I told her about the little um, clip-ons that you can put on bundles without sewing them. And so I think she's going to get some of those on her site. So you can make your own clip-ins from buying bundles. Um, you can, like, if you don't want to highlight your hair, just buy some clip-ins of a different color or some bundles of a different color and make your own clip-ins. Thank you, Herp Dirt. I'm trying to date a white guy. Do you think he'd be freaked out by a wig? And should I do weave instead? Sprinkle, sprinkle. Well, <laughs> um, probably a weave. Yeah, a weave would probably be, I don't know. I don't know. I've never had a weave in my life. I've only had clip-ins or wigs. So I don't know. But I, I got Layla a sew-in and she could not go she could not stand it i don't know if it's because it was her first one but i would definitely go with clip-ins or um if you've ever had one before and you can go for the weave then do it do that until you can get comfortable if you date him long term and you can get comfortable enough to where you can explain stuff and it's fine you know I remember I had a friend that wore wigs. And she, her man was white. It was hilarious. Uh, she had a wig stand, oh, uh, one of those heads, those uh, styrofoam heads on the nightstand, John. Wig be laying, wig be on the styrofoam head on the nightstand, and they both sleep. Thank you, Princess Ma Maya. Sprinkle, sprinkle. So it just depends on your level of comfort and how far you are in the relationship. I remember I saw that and I bust out laughing. I'm like, she's crazy, but that, that's what happened. Like, if you get comfortable, they don't care. Shoot. It's right there when you wake up. She, she probably liked it. When the lights go off, she probably take it off and put it on the thing. Okay. Anyway, putting these nails back. I'm done. What do y'all think? Is it pretty? I feel so extra feminine now. Like, my nails are good. Didn't have to wait at the nail salon, didn't have to pay extra money. Didn't have to inhale the toxic fumes in the nail spot. Y'all go check out Expose Beauty and click under Instant Manny. And I also have a link for these beautiful um, pink nails below. They have longer nails. They have more extravagant nails. I specifically asked for some shorter feminine, you know, pink nails. And that's what they sent me. Um, and they did send me also a pair, a pair, a set of French square. And uh, these are the coffin shape, the ballerina shape. I need to follow it. And also got the square. They also have different shapes. So just pick what you like. You know, I prefer something shorter because I have to do extra things. And I require short nails. Got to, you know, do hair. I have to uh, get your orders ready for Level Up Cosmetics. You all put that order in. I have to type a lot on my computer, so I don't really need super long nails at this time. Now, I've had super long nails before, and uh, you just have to adjust getting used to them again. So um, for now, these are really pretty. Long enough. And if you use my discount code on Expose Beauty, um, which is um, Shira, my name, you get 35% off. Okay. You know, wearing dresses and skirts are feminine, but, but what? Let me see. But would wearing skinny jeans such as Fashion Nova jeans with heels still be sexy and feminine for a casual day? I wear jeans a lot, but I pair it with something very feminine, like, um, 
because you know I'm a mom. I can't be wearing it. And sometimes it's raining or the weather's bad or you don't want to draw in that attention from wearing a dress. So let's say if I were going to wear jeans, I would wear some cute shoes with it, some cute accessories, maybe a pink shirt, like with a puff sleeve or, you know, just something dainty and you know, feminine or lacy. And I would put like, I would do my makeup, really feminine, definitely. But I would keep my colors feminine. I would probably pack a cute purse or like something like this just so that I can really you know scream femininity and then of course I would have to have like feminine ultra feminine perfume and so when you walk by me you remember you're like oh she smells so good yeah that's me baby so Miss Dior has been my go-to for the summer um Ted Baker, I just got that perfume last week. I forgot to bring that and show y'all in the hall. But if you go on the Ted Baker site through the link below in the description, you'll save $50. And everything is on sale right now. Right. So I do, I like also like um, light color jeans in the summertime or the springtime. And maybe, you know, darker color they don't have to be dark but like a lighter color jean like a lighter color blue you could even do like a a pink high waist jean a white jean a new I don't know about new because they might think you're really nude I always do a double take when I see people in nude jeans I'm like oh she naked no she's not <laughs> so if you want them double takes nude jeans <laughs> Any advice for when your father is not in your life? <laughs> Girl. Um, I don't know how old you are. But, I mean, most people, especially, you know, that grew up, most people that grew up without a father, they're like, oh, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Just keep going. I don't know. Like, what can you do? You said, oh, oh, new jean. Don't do that. <laughs> um, how to send man a cash app to vet him without scaring him. When he asks you a personal question, when he crossed the line. And they keep pressuring you and harassing you for time for dates and then too. But there's too many lined up trying to choose correct target only 24 hours a day. Um, I mean, you can pretend it was an accident that you sent it to them. They might not have cash app. They might even know what it is if, if you know, if you send it to them. But, oh my gosh, I didn't mean to send you that. I was trying to send that to someone else. Oh, who was that? Oh, you know, just um, my sister. She's gonna she's she's letting me borrow some money. Oh, for what? Oh, well, she knows that uh, I'm kind of having a hard time right now. She's gonna send me like twenty dollars, thirty dollars, forty dollars, fifty dollars, whatever, whatever amount you come. He might just send it to you without you asking afterwards. I don't know, just make up something. <laughs> um, how to, yeah, just make up something. Mm -hmm. When, what do you wear to a home brunch to look feminine but not overdressed? Oh, I want, I don't want to be overdressed, but I would definitely wear something that screams femininity. Like, definitely will wear pink. Or since it's summer, you could get away with a pretty yellow. I think yellow is kind of cute, depending on your skin tone. Definitely wear something with like, you know, ruffles or something. I don't know. Brunch is supposed to be kind of extra anyway. But if it's not, I'm, you know, I'm going to stand out, period. I'm not going to be overdressed, but I will stand out. I'm going to wear something 
a little bit more feminine than probably most of the women there. So if you know who's going and you know how they dress, then just put a little extra touch on it. I would wear a skirt or a dress, definitely. I wear some cute sandals um, or, you know, some, not, I wouldn't wear heels. I would wear like some cute sandals or maybe some cute um, wedges because it is daytime. It is brunch. Uh, wet sandals or espadrilles, not like, yeah. But something that screams, you know, summertime. Definitely would have my makeup, lashes, and nails. Because just because you wear lashes doesn't mean you're overdone. Like, you see these lashes? You can, like, tone down the eye makeup and don't do a lot of, like, liner and stuff. And just do the lashes and a little color. Do some blush, a little highlight, some pink lipstick. You know, just look like all husbands want their women to look. <laughs> so you can be the envy. You ever been to like a um, dinner or a gathering where all the husbands were looking at you because their wives are too masculine or they don't dress nice anymore or they don't put effort into themselves? It's very uncomfortable. It's like... They look extra worried, you know, they're all up in their face because they see them looking. So make sure you're that one. Okay. Mm -hmm. How do you put a man in his place when he isn't doing effort? You replace him with another man, darling. You don't even have to tell him nothing. You just start spending less time. And spending more time elsewhere. If you live with him, then you start spending more time doing whatever you're wanting to do and not even acknowledging. You cut him off completely until he figures out he got to do better. Until he figures out he got to do better. He can't get none, can't get no food. If you cook, stop cooking. If you, in the bedroom, stop doing anything in the bedroom. Don't do no more laundry. Go on strike until you get what you want, period. Okay, there's no point of you doing stuff and he not doing stuff that makes you happy. So cut it off, period. I, I, you wouldn't even have to, but if, if, if you are mad, you shouldn't be doing anything but existing and pleasing yourself. Okay, it's the truth. Why would you continue to do something and not get what you want in return? It makes zero sense. I would never. I'm not doing nothing else until I get what I want, period. Wife lives matter, right? <laughs> Women life matter. I would be like, uh-uh, until I get what I want, I'm done. Now get one more thing out of me. Nothing. Not even a text, not even a phone call. <laughs> And you also have to look at yourself. Why is he doing what he's what he's supposed to be doing? Are you motivating him? You know, I was listening to some song clip that was on floating around Instagram, and it said you gotta you gotta put in work, you gotta put in that work. You know, men aren't gonna bend over backwards for women that they don't find appealing. So if your man is not attracted to you anymore, then that's why they're not doing anything. They have to be attracted to you in order to put in that work. That's number one. A lot of women forget that. They just expect a man to put in effort when they're walking around looking crazy. So if you look good, you shouldn't have any problems. Okay? Because they already know if they don't do it, you will find someone who will. Right. So. Mm hmm. I'm going to put these earrings on to see what they look like. Your maid coming tomorrow. Hey, mine, can't, mine coming next week, girl. How you doing? Wednesday. Or Thursday. They come on Thursday. Okay. Yeah, this is cute. Oh. That's kind of cute. It's a little bit much with all this combined. If I didn't have this 
or this, I can see it. But if you're going to, it's kind of cute. This would have worked in the 80s. Um, but I like it. These are only a dollar at Miss A. So, can you show a man that you look at him lower or less than? <laughs> yeah, I'll just talk about someone higher than him. Like, your friend's husband or your boss or the dude across the street. <laughs> Just compare him to someone who's better than him. That's all you gotta do. It's like, oh, the guy across the street always brings his wife flowers. I always see him coming in with flowers every week. Um, he's always got the trash out the day before or the night before. He's so he's so good to her. <laughs> I saw him walking and pushing the baby stroller the other day, going for a walk with his child. Just make stuff up, even if it ain't true. Thank you. These were only a dollar. Can you believe it? A dollar. Miss A. Okay. Do you wear tailored shorts in summertime? Summer clothes? You can. I mean, if you like shorts. I prefer skirts. It's more feminine to me. You know, if you like shorts, go for shorts. But I, I prefer skirts because it's very feminine. Okay. Am I having my kids go back to school? Nope. They stay at home. Nope. They moved back going back to school three weeks anyway, where I live. So everybody started school online where I live. But they're not going back until whenever, until it's mandatory. They're probably going to allow virtual school to stay. But mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ha did having your dad help you to pick James as your husband? Too? Um, my dad did not help me pick my husband. I picked my own husband, baby. My dad didn't go out on dates and say, hey, that's a good one over there. No, baby, I picked my own husband. Who daddy picked their husband? I don't know. I'm I'm American. They don't do that over here. <laughs> okay. I'm just saying. Oh, yeah. We go out and, you know, made a best man win, basically. Okay. <laughs> That's good. You will be home with the girls. Yeah. What? I... Let the best man win. That's right. <laughs> so, yeah, you know. Can I... My best friend or boyfriend, is it boyfriend, take care of me? Okay, yeah, boyfriend. New place and he will take care of everything so I can focus on my business. Is it a good idea or wait till marriage? Um, as long as you're not doing the things that a married woman does, you're fine. No cooking, no cleaning, no laundry. Period. No cooking, no cleaning, no laundry. You do your own laundry. Don't do his laundry. Don't cook him no food. Um, and don't clean and clean up behind yourself only. Period. Okay. And make him do most of the cleaning. Like if you, like if you take a bath, you gotta clean the bath too. If you spit in the sink, the toothpaste, clean that up. If you dirty something up, clean it up. But don't sit there and clean the whole house and cook for you and him and do both of y'all laundry. Don't do that. Okay? Maybe she means, did you pick a man, James, like your dad? <laughs> James, um, James was a very positive person. 
Uh, James is part of the reason I am so positive and, uh, you know, know how to think on a more positive level because he's a Sagittarius. So he's a naturally positive, optimistic person. So it was his also his um, optimism that kind of brought me in because when I started thinking more like that, my life changed for the better. So I think it had a lot to do with his optimism and his relentless pursuit. Okay. So I think that's what it was, the positivity. Mm -hmm. How do you master the mental level up? Always think of solutions and think about what you want versus what you don't want. You know, always look for the better thing, the better answer, the better situation, the better solution. Right. Where's my shirt from? Probably she in, I think. Mm -hmm. What movies do you suggest? There's so many movies. Hallmark movies, baby. <laughs> Just go to Hallmark movies. There you go. Hallmark Christmas movies if you want to be extra. I can't ever think of movies off the top of my head, so. <laughs> Some basic Hallmark movies. You get the cookie cutter version. Hallmark movies are basically like romance novels on film. You remember when I was saying earlier in the video, if y'all were here, um, how to exude femininity and like watch a character who exudes femininity. I say read romance novels if you want to get in the head of a feminine uh, a feminine type woman. But then I just remembered Hallmark is basically romance novels on film. <laughs> so go there. Spend a spend like watch three in a row and you'll get it. Look for the titles, you know, that sound feminine. Mm -hmm. These are my Level Up Cosmetic Lashes. Go to levelup.us. I have magnetic lashes and the 3D meat lashes. So, um, these are the magnetic ones. Yeah, um, I've been with James so long. It's crazy, like. Y'all can thank James for everything because he, he gave me my first laptop um, for Christmas. That's when I started my first YouTube channel like a long time ago. Not None of this stuff, but just a whole different one. Um, social media and all that. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah. How do I know if I'm if I'm an ego boost to a guy who's really interested in you? Guys say stuff but hasn't asked me out. Ignore them. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Ignore the man and pay attention to another man in front of them. If he if he wanted you to ask him out, he'll reel you back in. Think about it if it happened to you. So, should we aim to be the first wife or the second? Depends on how old he is. You know, because he, he might not live to make to create a, uh, another marriage. So, if he if he's already old, you probably gonna be the first and the last wife. If he's young, opt for the second wife, baby. Mm hmm. I don't know what his sun moon rising is. Sorry. Some guy told you his first wife proposed to him. Wow. 
I was watching um, another vlogger, and people kept people kept asking when when she was gonna get married because she had you know she got a fiance or whatever or a boyfriend, not a, not a fiance but a boyfriend, and she was like, when he asked me, I'm not gonna get on my knees and ask him. I'm a woman. <laughs> like I know that's right. Do I prefer African men over American men? I prefer men with money, period. I don't care where they from. Where they... <laughs> okay. The money. It just depends on actually being honest. It depends on what they expect from their women and their culture. Because I ain't finna do no extra. Y'all know that. Whatever I can get away with being me, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> If you want me to cook, clean, scrub, I'm not for you. Mm -hmm. They will lash, but not usually at women. How to be feminine at the gym? That's easy. Get you some feminine gym clothes. <laughs> Keep, you know, do minimum makeup if you don't want to sweat it all off. I used to go in full makeup. I don't care. Eyebrows, lashes. Not, I wouldn't do lashes. I just do mascara. Waterproof, of course. Um, lipstick. Highlighter. I would do a light foundation. Try to wear cute gym outfits. I mean, that's all you can really do. That's all you can really do. Why would I say, what would you say when he tells me about his bitter wife that he's doing, going through a divorce with to sound feminine? What does he want me to say? Um, focus on the future. Shift the attention to the future. Well, when it's all over and done with, let's go to Hawaii. <laughs> Bring it back to you, baby. Bring it back to you. In fact, why don't we look at swimsuits right now? <laughs> why don't we look at, you know, vacation clothing? Always flip it right back to you. When this is all over and done with, let's go to wherever. Or, you know what? I am starving. We want to go to dinner. I am so sorry you're going through that. Maybe a good dinner at a nice restaurant will be what you need. Maybe you need a vacation, just a weekend getaway. Where do you want to go? Okay. I know. Let's go do a bed and breakfast you know, out in the country and just get away from it all. <laughs> just do what you want to do. Throw yourself in there and throw some solutions that are beneficial to you. Forget about the wife. Okay? <laughs> Thank you, Jessica. So, I don't, I'm not talking about her. I'm talking about our future. We going on vacation. Let's get away for the weekend. Let's go all shopping online. Take your mind off of that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How to tell a new date you don't like the good morning text they always send when they when just meeting. Um, just tell him, you don't have to send me a good morning text. It's always a good morning. Plus, sometimes I'm sleeping. Like, I don't know. I mean, to me, put him on one, two, girl. Put him on one, two. Put him on one, two. That's how you do that. Put him on one, two. Put him on a good morning and a good night. So he'll take you off if you take him off.
That way y'all both get the annoyance of it. And he'll see how annoying it is and he'll take it off. <laughs> yeah, don't talk. Yeah, I saw someone talking about don't talk negative about other women in the presence of a man. Because he'll see you as a bitter. How do you find a sugar daddy during quarantine? I don't like apps. Go out. Walk around. Go to the grocery store to get your essentials. Whole Foods still open. People are still shopping. <laughs> you know? Just go out and look cute everywhere you go. Somebody gonna say something. Hey girl, how are you? You know, make sure you put on your perfume so when you walk by, make sure you look good. Get your cuteness on. I'm going to put on these earrings while I'm sitting here. I haven't worn these in a while. These are actually some pink freshwater pearl earrings. They remind me of the, the Tiffany drop pearl earrings. Let's see. These are by Amor or more Gen C. You have seen me do reviews on her jewelry store. Um, if he asked for another chance after I told him I'm not interested uh, in going further, what? Send him that cash app. They tell him to meet you at the mall. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Or, you know, I'll give you another chance. Meet me at the mall. Thank you, Natalia. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You have no idea how much you've helped me not to emotionally attach to a man that appear at first smitten by me only to fade away later. That's right. You, they have to earn that. That is an investment. You're not impressed until you have something in your hand. Uh -oh. it's locked. It. You're not impressed until you're holding something. Material. <laughs> okay. Do you know, like, if you ever watched that show American Greed, that's how a lot of people get scammed. They they have a you know someone that can talk the talk. When it's time to deliver, they disappear. They ain't doing what they said they were gonna do, and now you stuck like Chuck, looking crazy. So just think about that show, American Greed. They're not they're not producing money. This is a scam. They're not producing any benefits. It's a scam. You can get the biggest bag in the Chanel store if you want. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, tell them to meet you at the at the Chanel store, at the mall, wherever. There we go. Aren't those cute? Amor J N C Y Jewelers. So cute. These are very feminine. Definitely very feminine. <laughs> How to respond to those men who try to get you jealous by talking about other women with you? Talk, just talk about the woman. Like, wow, she was smart. Wow, she must have really um, not liked you. Don't get mad. You know, um, try to understand from that woman's perspective, even though you don't know her. How do I realize with separated husband who's, who is narcissistic and cheats like crazy, have daughter, can't cut him out 100% what tactic to use and start dating other men, period. Don't, he, he doesn't have to know about it, but make yourself happy. Put him on child support um, and go and date who you want. Huh? That's what you gotta do. I don't care you. So many women, oh, I'm separated, oh, I'm getting divorced. And you concerned about the other man. I mean, you're concerned about the one you're separated from. He's not concerned about you. So take his money and move on and start dating other men. So you can see what you've been missing. See, that's what he was doing through your whole marriage. You might as well do it now that you're separated and he's paying you. You're getting paid to cheat, basically. Go get paid to cheat. Okay. Go get paid. To cheat. That's that's your reward. Okay. 
and put him on child support and go date. Period. You'll be fine. <laughs> Buy you a nice outfit. Buy this little baby an outfit. Y'all will be fine. Okay. Buy you some pearls. These are very cute. It's also from a more, more juicy story. That eye necklace that I'm always wearing is also from there too. You know, this little eye necklace you always ask me about. It's it's real gold. It's real fresh water pearls. It's, there's an opal in there, I think. Mm hmm So, who is femininity? Who is femininity easy for? Those women who constantly work on it, those women who are raised in it, and those women who are naturally feminine by nature. For other women, it's a daily practice. For other women, you have to like really put in the effort because if you were raised masculine or if you don't, you know, if you weren't, um, if you were put in a situation where you had to take on a masculine role for so long, you have to retrain your mind to think feminine and act feminine. So it's easy and natural for some women, but other women have to really put in the work in order to achieve that on a, on a level to where they attract masculine men or just exude femininity naturally. Yeah. Um, a, lot of, a lot of women don't understand why men overlook them. It's because you're either not feminine enough or they're too feminine for you. You know, it's not your fault if a man is too feminine for you. That means they see your femininity and they know that they want a woman to chase them. They know that they want to be the woman in the relationship. They know they want a 50-50 chick, so they're not going to approach you. And so you're just dodging bullets. It's not that they don't see you and that they are, they're not attracted to you. It's just that they know they can't have their way with you. So they wait for someone who will give them their way. They wait for a more masculine woman to pay the bills, to put in that 50-50 work. You know, they, they wait for that barber, the builder. They wait for that one who will chase them. So they are the feminine men. So they're not going to be naturally trying to get with you because they're not wanting to chase you. They want to be chased. They want to be the prize. So don't be disappointed if you if you do all this beautiful, you know, makeup and hair and work and, you know, look feminine and got your nails and hair done and no one approaches you. It's because they're looking for someone who's going to approach them. Okay. They're looking for that one that's going to go up to them. Not the other way around. So don't be disappointed. You're basically dodging a bullet. When, when your level of femininity hits someone else's level of masculinity, there's going to be a natural attraction there. Okay, When an ultra-masculine man walks in and you're ultra-feminine, y'all are going to be drawn to each other, period. He's not going to be drawn to a masculine woman, and you're not going to be drawn to a feminine man. So just understand that if you are trying to find ultra masculine men, hang out where ultra masculine men hang out, where the money is, okay? Feminine men hang out where there's less money. Masculine men hang out where there's a lot of money, okay? You want this cup? Um, I got this cup at, can't remember, I got it on Etsy. Can't remember the name of it. But just go on Etsy and type in uh, blinged out Starbucks cup, like 50,000 stores will pop up, baby. Um, sprinkle, sprinkle. She will have to start an online shop. Fashion is my biggest passion. Well, make sure people like, uh, uh, here's the thing about certain things. If they can get it cheaper somewhere else with the same quality, they probably will, especially if they don't know you. So I would start off small with accessories or something. 
like that with a little shop and definitely uh, advertise on Instagram. Then move up as your shop gets more traffic, start putting in more things. Make a Shopify, you could do an Etsy. They have a store on Facebook. Like if you make a Shopify, you connect, you can connect to a Facebook store as well. Um, thank you, Natalia. Sprinkle, sprinkle. How do I switch between being a the boss with my son and being feminine with a man that I talk in the phone and go out once in a while? I have a hard time not to overpower the man in communication. That is a problem. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Sometimes that happens with me and my kids. Like I'll tell Layla, oh, you got to go do this. Oh, you got to go do that. And then when I, before I talk to James, I pause. I'm like, instead of saying, did you do this or can you do this? I'm like, um, can you do this please? You know, but there have been times that I've forgotten and have said something and then I'll be like, Oh my God, I've been yelling at the kids so long. I'm yelling at everybody. Uh, I said, but you know what I mean. So you just kind of kind of pause and readjust. And if you make a mistake every once in a while, they'll understand why. Because you're talking to these kids and then you have to switch over. But if you make it a habit, that's when it becomes a problem. Because My mom had that problem. Um, she ran her business for so many years. She had employees and she would just talk to everybody like an employee and she couldn't stop because that's what she was just so used to. So you have to make that pause. You got to put that pause on. Like, remember who you're talking to, right? LaPicha said, don't overpower your son. Well, I don't know. I don't have sons, so I could not tell you how to raise a son. I really can't. Um, Men hate being told what to do. They sure do. They hate it. Um, and, you know, it just, I guess it depends on how old your son is as well. Like when they reach a certain age, I don't, I wouldn't recommend overpowering them. But hey, I don't have a son, so I couldn't tell you. <laughs> You're so feminine with your son. <laughs> Yeah, if you act, maybe if you act extra feminine with your son, if he's older, I don't know how young he is, but if he's older, he might just, you know, reach into his masculinity and, you know, pretty much help you because you were, you know, the feminine one. Thank you, the next best name. Hey, where you been? Sprinkle, sprinkle. I, I knew you were going to show up eventually. Men don't want a feminine woman. We just really want a Pigmisha who can hold us down, sprinkle, sprinkle. Well, that's feminine men, sprinkle, sprinkle. Feminine men don't want feminine women. You women, you are correct. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you for the donation. Masculine men want feminine women. Every duo I see with um, a, a very masculine man, they always have a very feminine woman, at least in their looks anyway. So, um, thank you for the donation. They, but what he says is kind of true. They want a Pikmisha until they can afford better. <laughs> because think about it. If you were a very successful man, you wouldn't be looking for a woman to hold you down. So, they only want Pikmisha temporarily until they can hold themselves down all the way, period. And until they become super masculine, they need that picnic. They need that doorstep. They need that doormat. They need that barber the builder. They need that step stool. They need that toilet paper. <laughs> they need that what? That layer, that filter. Whatever you want to call her, that's what they need in order to appear more masculine to a feminine woman from far away. So men feel like they need that. Yes, that's what you need right now because you're not at the level you're supposed to be at. But when you get at that level that you're supposed to be at, you don't want that anymore. It's unappealing. Now you want to 
take care of someone else. Now you want to be the big man. Now you want to be the only one that's handling business because you the man. You don't want pick me shit anymore because anybody can get a pick me shit. You want someone that not everyone can get. You want that quote unquote designer. You don't want that Walmart. You want that designer. Okay. You don't want the knockoff. You want the designer. You know. You here's my perfect example. You don't want. You don't want my dear. You want Miss Dior. Okay. You don't want the knockoff no more. Okay. You, you want Miss Dior. This will get you by. This will get you by. Like, you, know, you got to spray this eighteen thousand times though. But this, when you get to that level when you can, you can get what you want, this will stay on you all day. And when they ask you what you're wearing, you ain't going to be lying. Period. <laughs> okay. <laughs> when you think about men who always want to spend time with, your, with their homeboys, are the feminine, are they feminine men? I have a, you know, I, old men don't have homeboys, so I don't know. Okay. Older men don't have homeboys. You know, I don't know. If he wants to, older men will, oh, I'm going to go have a drink with my friend. It's not like a group of friends. It's one friend. They'll call them the fellows. Okay. Um, and if it's all the time, that's an issue because it shouldn't be all the time. It should be once in a while to catch up. But if it's all the time and they prefer to hang out with their friends rather than hanging out or being with you or taking you on dates or whatnot, it means you're bored. Okay, it means y'all have not a lot in common, that you're not amusing to him anymore. Or he doesn't fear you going to do whatever you're going to do. So he's going to go do what he wants. If they're always trying to get away from you, then that's, the, that's an issue. You should be um, more concerned where, where you're going. You know what I mean? Where, where are you going to go hang out with your friends? Thoughts on the jokes people are making about Megan Thee Stallion getting shot. I haven't even heard any of those jokes. So I don't know. Mm -hmm. Megan Thee Stallion is not very feminine. So if anybody was going to get shot, out of all the female rappers, I mean, it might be her. I don't know. I mean, it just might be her. I don't know. I mean, I don't see, I don't see Nicki Minaj getting shot, even though she's a little masculine, but not as masculine. I don't see uh, Cardi B getting shot. She, she'd probably be the one shooting. Um, I just don't see, you know, that with other female rappers. Sheila, I live in Houston. Would you say where you got your lips done? I don't even remember the name of it, but the first place, I don't remember the last place, but the first place that um, I contacted was called Advanced Dermatology because that was my dermatologist. And um, I don't remember the last place, but I would say Advanced Dermatology is where they were first done. And they're kind of wearing off now because it was that restylane that metabolizes like because it's all natural. It just metabolizes with, with your body fat. So. Um, it's in Katy, but they do have different locations. And it's different doctors, so I don't know. Pretty much anywhere you can get it done. 
And like when you go in, you gotta be very specific. Like you can't just say do my lips. You gotta have a picture where you want it, like put it up more over here, more over there, get that mirror and start pointing. Okay. Be involved. That's all I got to say. Mm -hmm. What do I look for? A feminine response to what you're looking for in a man. What do you like to do? Responses are. I love a traditional masculine man. I love a traditional, very masculine man. Um, that means don't ask me to pay no 50 50. You plan all the baits, open my doors, period. What do I like to do? Oh, I love picnics on, on the veranda. <laughs> but don't stay in the park. <laughs> I love gourmet food. <laughs> I'm a foodie. <laughs> that means you ain't going to Chili's or Applebee's if you a foodie. They can't take you to Applebee's. They can't take you to no cheap place if you're a foodie. They will never tell you we're going to this cheap restaurant. So always just say stuff so that they get the hint on where you're going on the next day. I'm a foodie. I love, you know, um, I have a very um, big passion for you know, gourmet food. I'm just a foodie. I'm watching Food Network all the time. I love sampling different, um, you know, food foods from different places. I love exploring different restaurants. Y'all ain't going to Chili's after that. What do you like to do? I love the water. I love, you know, anything that has to do with water, anything that has to do with because I like boats, because I, you know, I like me with boats. Traveling, yeah. Fine dining sounds like gold digger. Foodie sounds more like you're interested in the food. And usually, you're not going to want to go to Chili's if you're a foodie. So skip fine dining and go for more of a foodie. And then you can mention fine dining places. Oh, they're supposed to have the best such and such, or they're supposed to have a really good such and such, you know. That way you don't sound so much like, oh, I only like fine dining. What do I think when you meet someone on Facebook and been chatting over the phone and texting every day, but today he told me, but we haven't met in person. What does that mean? Help? What does that mean? He, he wanted to meet you in person. Duh. That means it's time to meet. He's trying to meet her. Mm -hmm. Has anyone here tried daily harvest food? No, but I think I got a, a cute like a um, gift card to like one of those food subscription places. Something um, Hello Fresh or something like that. How to be feminine at work when you wear a uniform? Wear makeup, wear earrings, get your nails done wear perfume, wear your hair in a feminine way. Everything else must be feminine. The uniform should look out of place. You know what I mean? Hmm. So. Should I talk about how feminism is bad and men should be locked look up to on a date no you shouldn't talk about anything political you shouldn't talk about anything like that at all you don't want a strong opinion not to their knowledge 
you can think whatever you want to think, but your, your knowledge is secret knowledge. Your knowledge is a part of your secret plan, okay? You shouldn't share that, okay? You're not there to impress him. He's there to impress you. So there's no need for you to go into all of that. Imagine how sexy the world would be if there was only feminine or masculine energies. True. I suggest going to the mall in a feminine energy way. Suggest a restaurant that's in the mall. Oh my gosh. There's this place I've been craving. And I haven't had it in such a long time, but I don't know if you would take me there. I'll take you anywhere. You sure? They have really good whatever, you know. I think you would love them. Well, where is it? Oh, it's in the mall. In the food court. But they're so good. You gotta try it. Don't focus on the mall. Focus on the food. Men love food. They go on where the food is. Then after you eat, you're like, oh, I gotta work this off. I feel so full. I gotta work off these calories. Let's go walk around. You walk like that lady on Mars Attacks. I'm just kidding. <laughs> the one that was disguised when she was, they were alien. You kind of, you get your sexy walk on. And so all the men are gonna be looking at you. Uh, oh, he got him a good, good looking woman. So when you go to the shop, it's gonna be like, you like that? Oh, I love this. Oh my gosh, would you mind if I tried this on? No, go ahead. Okay, you sure? Then go try it on. But go get him in there, learn him in with the food first. Okay. Remember that walk on Mars and Texas? Go, I cracked up on that part. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> like that's not how we walk they try to like create the ultra feminine woman to lure you know lure them in and so the aliens made this ultra feminine woman like and she was like oozing around basically she had on this tight dress and this big lip that was red and these big old eyelashes like this and she was walking around like she was like basically oozing. She was like, and she walked. <laughs> like, that's what they thought feminism was, or not feminism, but femininity was. <laughs> like, the aliens almost had it right. They, they did it over, overkill. <laughs> okay. How to embody siren energy. Study the Pisces woman. She has siren energy. <laughs> how to learn how to flirt without feeling ashamed or thinking you look stupid. I just eye contact and smile. That's the only flirting you kind of need. You know. Give a compliment when a compliment is given. Like, oh, you're so pretty. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You look very nice too. You know, don't just flirt to flirt. Make sure they're flirting with you. I don't know. Just, you know, different people do different things. Depending on what type of woman you are also depends on how you flirt. Do you flirt first? Or do you wait for them to, you know, flirt with you and then you respond? This one says, study the Scorpio woman energy. That's a little bit too jealous. You know, Scorpios can be very jealous. The siren energy don't care, baby. We just like... We fall under our spell, or the next one will. 
and you'll want to. You won't be trying to get away. That's the that's siren energy. Either you gonna fall under the spell or somebody else will, and we don't care if you do or not because we know somebody else is coming right after you. You want it or not. <laughs> okay, that's that siren energy. Mm -hmm. So we're not over possessive. We like do what you gotta do. Another one is around the corner, baby. <laughs> we don't care. We're going on to the on to the next one. Just like the Starbucks chick, she's like, hmm. someone else is gonna pull up to the drive thru after you leave, baby. Move along. My cups are twenty dollars. A cup with a picture of a siren on it at Starbucks is, is gonna run you twenty. Okay. You know, there's a reason why Starbucks chose the cider. So. Remember you saying that when you are on a date, you shouldn't talk too much? Mm-hmm. You won't that be a turnoff to a man if you'll think that we're bored? No. You can't be bored when your woman is sitting there looking you in the eye, blinking, going like this, barely saying a word like, oh, my gosh. It's so hot today. So what did you do today? You're not going to be bored if you're seductive. If the woman is seductive and sexy, the man is not going to be bored. He's going to be like, he's going to be doing all the talking. If you're there to talk, you you shouldn't be dating. You're there to lure in, baby. You're there to hook. You're not there to talk. You're there to hook, hook him. You're there to reel him in. You're there to watch every other man look at you and watch him look at every other man looking at you. you That's what you're there for. You're there so he can impress you. You're there to mess with his mind. You're there to make him think about what you look like under these clothes and what anything is going to be like with you. You're there to make him think, how can I get her? What do I have to do? I will do anything. That's what you're there to do. You are there to get him to want you. Not impress him to see if you're compatible. That So he will ask you out again so that y'all can make another day to sit there and chit-chat. That ain't what you're there for. You're there to get his money after you get him hooked. Period. Thank you, Lee Peace. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Dusty paid 500 for me in a susu. His wife called me asking if I need help recruiting, I told him I don't, I didn't want to be part of it. What do you think? Just take the money until you change your mind, John. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I changed my mind. Thanks for the money. <laughs> Thank you, Shine. Sprinkle, sprinkle. 90 to 80% of communication is nonverbal, ladies. That is so true. That is so true. So, we're not going to be talking. They're going to be talking. I'm going to be listening and luring him in. So if you think dates are interviews, they are not interviews. They are traps. If you can get him hooked to trap him in your seduction and allure, you win. If you're there to have a conversation and impress him, you lose. Because that's not feminine energy. Think about think about this. Think about conception when the, when the sperm is going to the egg, right? The egg ain't jumping up and down, talking and throwing, you know, um, hand signals. The egg just sitting there. The sperm is like trying to do all this extra work to try to get in. And what 
when he do and say the right thing, the egg allows him to come on in. Okay. So we're not there to conversate. We're there to allure and to trap. And once that sperm gets in that egg, it's trapped. It can't go nowhere. It has to become one. It has to, you know, give its energy and its vibration and to become a zygote. So that's what you are. That's what you are. That you are a feminine energy. You attract. Okay. You don't have to do anything, but just sit there and look appetizing and look feminine and look like surprise and look like every man wants his woman to look who's sitting across from him at other tables. You have that's what you need to look like and that's how you need to present yourself. And you need to every once in a while, oh really that's so funny. Oh really that's so interesting. Tell me more. You know, you don't really have to impress them. You just have to hook them. Thank you, Rowan. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Gave one third the cookie too soon. If you will, my bad. He's still interested. Gives me money. Anything I ask for, but need him to be pinning, pining what to do. Make him start all over. Don't give him the cookie no more. Um, don't, you know, um, yeah. Once they get it, they lose a lot of momentum in the chase. So make them wait a long, long time before you give it to them again. Make them earn it all over. Remember when she almost divorced Kobe? She would have gotten 150 million cheaper to keep her. <laughs> right. Talk about the nest on You're dating this guy and extremely, you're extremely opinionated. It does cause friction, but we've been talking for a while. Will it seem weird if I just switch it up? Yeah, because, you know, he's used to you doing that. Just gradually switch it up. Stop caring about everything in general and start agreeing with him more and see what happens. You know, I actually agree with you on that. Even if you don't, just see what happens. Just see how he changes and see if he wants to do more for you. Just test him out. Like, you know, I actually agree with you on that. <laughs> but I would never be super opinionated unless I already, you know, had everything that I needed, you know. Or they ask me for my opinion and I'm not trying to get anything out of them. It's just, but not when I'm dating and trying to get that brain and all that. I'm, I'm, whatever you say, dear. After I got the ring and everything, this is what it is. <laughs> right. And it's okay to have a difference of opinion as long as you respect each other's opinion. Thank you, LNSB. Sprinkle, sprinkle. How do I get money from men while married and not look like a loose woman and still have them respect me? Don't tell them you're married. How do I get a constitution? Don't tell them you're married. <laughs> and get their money. Do you think have the men out here who are really married tell uh, the women that they're married? <laughs> they have to find out the hard way. <laughs> So you ain't got to kill them. You just say, I have a roommate. And that's it. Or you could tell them you're separated. When, sure, I'm not married, but an advice, but, they, but yes, an advice. How to not have sex and share the same bed. Isn't he going to make a move. I understand men has to earn sex, but giving him by giving him if you don't live with him, he he's not gonna be able to make a move. If y'all going on vacation, get a separate hotel room. Tell him to get you a different hotel room. A connecting room but separate. And that's my thing. Right. 
how to deal with Dusty Dad when I leave and level up with a man. Watch him say, I'm sorry, I should have been a better dad to you and gave been kind, but when I'm in my dad's life, it's a disrespect. Then I'm not worried about what other people think. I'm just going to do me, baby. I'm, I don't have the time or energy to think about what other people are thinking or feeling. I don't really care. Am I good? Check. Do I got what I want? Check. Period. You know what I'm saying? I don't have time for that. I don't have time to be the thoughts in someone else's head. I got time to be the thoughts in my head. I have time to be the thoughts in my future. I have time to be the thoughts in what I desire. I don't have time to be thinking of what I don't want. I don't have time to be thinking about the past or I don't have time to be thinking about someone, how someone else feels in their mind, who I am not. Unless they are my children, I am not concerned, period. Okay, and that's, the, that's what you need to get on. <laughs> Believe me, you'll thank me later. Okay. How to be more straightforward when asking for money. He's 42 years older. We've been on two dates so far, looking good, and he's a surgeon. Oh, he's a surgeon. Mention you have issues, financial issues, and see if he offers to help you. Just mention it out of the blue, like, oh, like, set it up, set it up. Oh, my aunt's having really, you know, bad financial issues. I may have to help her this month. Then on the next day, it's all oh, help my aunt. Now I'm kind of you know, behind on a lot of things. So, you know, now I have to you know, catch up. If he doesn't offer to help you, then he probably not going to offer to help you. Um, he don't like you that much to offer to help you. A, a real man will step up and ask how much you need. Thank you, Jade Brown's Purple Sparkle. This guy I'm seeing always spends a lot on my um, best restaurants gifts. I want a 5K purse. He asked you for a 2K gift for Christmas. Is this okay? I'm not spending 2K on no type of man, period, ever in my lifetime. All the gifts won't even equal up to 2K after years and years and years, okay? He asked me for a 2K gift. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you for the donation. I would not spend more than five. Head on to the Dollar Tree and make him a gift basket. Spend 2K pennies and that's, that's all you need to be spending. Okay? That's still too many. But hey. Let me ask Siri how much that is. 2K pennies. 2,000 US cents is equivalent to an amount of money of 20.00 US dollars. Okay, that's still too much. If a man ever says him about a 2K, he better be giving me 2K to buy it. Sorry, that's just, I can't. <laughs> Think about this. If you saved your 2K, you could buy your own purse if you stop buying him gifts. It's not like he buying you a gift if you spend 2K. He's not buying you a 5K purse. He's buying you a 3K purse. So, tell him to get yours first and then don't come with him. Tell them you're going to get it. I'm going to get you one too. I'm going to get you one too. I'm going to get you your 2K gift. You get your 5K purse. Times are hard. I had to pay my aunt's rent. I can't afford your 2K gift. You go a Dollar Tree basket. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> Thank you, explicit sprinkle, sprinkle. I appreciate that. Look, all of a sudden, financial issues are going to pop up after you get that purse. Oh, I couldn't afford it. Mm -hmm. I made you a gift basket from the heart. I got your favorite candy in there. Your favorite drink. Your favorite chips. 
Got some popcorn for movie night. Got you some cozy socks. I got you this oil so I can give you a back rub. Got you some hand sanitizer. Gotta stay healthy. Um, got you some donuts, exactly. Got you your favorite coffee mug. I got you a coffee mug. There you go. This is from the heart. I really put a lot of effort and thought into this gift. I'm going to throw some sprinkle sprinkle in his mouth and tell him to eat this cake. <laughs> okay, yours truly. Girl, just go get some lingerie and dress it up and put a bow on your head. Okay. I'm your gift, baby. It's worth more than 2K. Okay. <laughs> Good, you can get this head bag. This from shop. This from Ms. A. I forget. <laughs> Surprise! Look, look. Go get you a moving box. Look, let me tell you. Go get you a moving box and paint it. And get inside and pop out. Surprise! And have on a T-shirt that say "2K." <laughs> Attach a price tag to your bra that says 2K. Curve. He ain't gonna be mad. What woman ever did that for me? All it's gonna cost you is a moving box and some spray paint. If you don't feel like buying new lingerie, just go dig up the old lingerie out of your drawer and put it on, and you're good to go. And have your purse on your shoulder <laughs> that he done bought you. Okay. Thank you, Ellen SB. Are you are currently doing consultations? Um, most of the stuff that I uh, talk about in the video. If that's not helpful to you or you need extra, yeah, I still do them, but I try to only do like one a day and only on the weekdays in the evening time. So, yes, I did. It was pretty You said that's a good one. You're going to do it, Kimberly. You're going to pop out a moving box. Every year you can get creative. Look. If you don't feel like painting the box, just get a giant ribbon and just tie it and have somebody tie it up from outside. I really appreciate you and all for what you do. And then do you think 45 is too old to secure the back? No, if you look good. Thank you, Marquette. There are women that are older than 46 secure in the bag. I, I have a um, I have a client that I do consultations with and she's 60 something secure in the bag. I'm an 80 something year old. Okay, the game don't stop. It's funny because she's like, he doesn't call. I said, girl, he don't remember. You gotta remind, you gotta put him on a timer. He's 80 something years old. He ain't gonna remember that. He probably can't remember. You know, you might be right. I'm like, yeah. Just remind. Him. <laughs> Okay, but she getting that money. He paying them bills. Um, I'm not 46, but anybody who looks good for their age, whether you be 46 or 56, you you can make it work. It's, it's about your confidence, your femininity, and your target. Femininity is difficult. 
hang around feminine women and it won't be difficult, I promise. Watch a bunch of Hallmark movies. Look, if you find it very difficult to be feminine, have a feminine day. Don't do anything masculine. Just challenge yourself. Watch all feminine movies. Eat only feminine foods. Um, pamper yourself that day. You know, take a bubble bath, do your nails. Um, wear all pink or whatever you got to do. And just do that. Challenge yourself for one whole day to be feminine. And then, you know, the next day, take some of that into your daily life, like an outfit or a way of thinking or a way of eating or, you know, your jewelry or accessories or whatever. When you get home, don't put on no ugly jogging pants. Have you a nice set of pajamas, uh, some little slippers, a little robe, a little nightgown or whatever, and put that on. Don't lounge around looking like a dude. They make, in the old days, that's all women used to wear, those little pin walls and little robes and matching sets. That's all you used to see on Golden Girls. <laughs> Go watch Golden Girls. Okay? Y'all remember Golden Girls? Every time they sat around that table to eat some cheesecake, they all had on their little nightgowns. They didn't have no t-shirt unless it was Blanche and she was wearing a man's t-shirt because he was in the room. But back in the day, women had specific clothing that they would wear at specific times. You wake up, you put on a cute robe and your slippers. You get ready to go to sleep, you put on your cute pajamas or nightgown. When you get up in the morning, if you're not going anywhere and you're just lounging around, you still put on something decent or cute. You know, you, you have to make habits and that it oozes and transfers into your daily life. Um, just start with something small. You know, uh, when it comes to how you talk and walk and act, if you're around a lot of masculine women, be the feminine one. Because, you know, it's contagious. And, and they'll start to see how masculine they really are. And they'll be trying to be more feminine, too. <sighs> Would it be like sleeping naked? Girl, get you some nice sheets then. I don't know. Get you some slippers. Mm -hmm. Get a nice robe to put on before you after you get out the bed. How to not have I told you how to not have sex without girl a onesie sprinkle sprinkle. I told y'all get you a one of them zip up onesies and zip it up. <laughs> onesie. Onesie. Onesie and diarrhea. I got diarrhea and I got on this onesie. Period. You done. They sell them at Target. Go around Christmas time and buy like a onesie for every day of the week. Get you a, a, a SpongeBob onesie. That's a real turn off. A Scooby Doo onesie. Ooh, that's bad. Get all the ugly onesies. Don't get them tight. Get them extra baggy. Okay? So it, it looks like it's sagging in the back and it's not appealing. If you're trying not to appeal, get you a onesie. When he know when you put that onesie on, you cannot be bothered. This is You ain't bothering me. I got the onesie on. And, I, and lay on your stomach. He you can't unzip the onesie. In turn, wear onesies and underwear. Okay. How to initiate conversation with a 16-year-old daughter with the guy you're dating. Compliments, baby. Compliment for whatever she got on. Ask her where she got it from. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> Thank you, Rowan. 
what would be the best way to go about keeping him on his toes 24 7 i'm ultra fan but i have trouble with my tact at times don't worry about that that's that's the thing if you are more concerned about your life he is on his toes 24 7 you know what i'm saying if you have a life and you're doing what you want to be doing if you're not texting or calling back all the time you have your own focus on something else he is going to be on his toes 24-7, okay? Period. You don't have to impress him. You have to stay busy, and he has to impress you. That's all you got to do. If you're doing anything else, you're doing too much. Stay cute, though. Stay cute all the time. And you'll be fine. <laughs> Whatever you feel like feminine food is, I would say feminine foods are light foods or pretty foods. You know, like if I was going to make a feminine dish or plate or whatever, it would be light. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, strawberry shortcake is a feminine dessert and it's pretty light. Um, but you can make it vegan style too if you want. A salad. Any type of salad is a light dish. A soup, if you do eat meat or whatever, fish or chicken, whatever. Um, anything light. <laughs> right, right. Snack on feminine foods. You could do like grapes or cherries or strawberries. When you drink your water, drink it out of a girly cup or a wine glass. Don't drink out of a plastic uh, regular cup. You know, get you something fancy. Spoil yourself. If you're at home, being feminine is also spoiling yourself. Because if you spoil yourself, you're not going to accept less from a man. You, you'll be like, oh, I can do that for myself. I like extra, you know, so you'll stop accepting less and start only accepting more. You won't be ashamed to ask for more. You won't be ashamed to uh, expect more. You won't shy away from wanting the best because you've already given yourself the best, you know. Um, so I, I suggest if you have trouble with femininity, take one or two days a week at home and only do feminine things. If if walking around in lingerie makes you feel feminine, then do that. If wearing heels makes you feel feminine, then do that. Whatever makes you feel the most feminine, do that. And incorporate other things. And then when you get out into the real world, take some of those things with you. And spoil yourself as major key. That's right. Mm hmm. What's the rules on who should call after the birthday? The sperm, the sperm always does the chasing. Okay, unless you got sperms, don't call. Period. That's it. There's no unless he bumped his head, died, and caught amnesia. And don't remember he had a date. I don't. But how would you know that? You prance around at home. Hey, put on your prettiest dress. And walk around your house like you are a princess. Look, Beauty and the Beast or whatever. Cinderella. I've done that. James was like, why are you dressed up? I don't know. Because I, I want to. I got the clothes in my closet. I might as well wear them. Right? So take advantage of your clothes in your closet. If you're on quarantine, if you're not going to a lot of places, you can still get dressed up. That's what they used to do in the old days. Y'all remember the old Victorian days where people would dress up to sit at home? They'd be like, oh, I invited such and such over for a cup of tea or to play a game of bridge or whatever they did back in the old days. But they would be all dressed up like, you know, they didn't come out their room unless they were dressed. 
Oh, we're going to be in the parlor. That's right. She yelling. It was up in the parlor playing the piano because they didn't handle TV. It was like, do, 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 do. you know, playing the piano. Oh, the one that could sing could, would be singing ooh, 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 opera or whatever. And then the men would be sitting with their brandy and cigar. Ooh, ooh, ooh. They'll be entertaining themselves dressed up in suits, sitting in the house. And when there was no company, they'd still be dressed up sitting in the parlor on the couch with their little dog, like extra like, come sit down. I would like to talk to you about something. So when are you going to settle down? I'm concerned, like little women. They would just sit there and talk with the mini sandwiches. Yeah, make you some mini sandwiches, girl. Make you a little tea, get you a little tea cup, make you a mini sandwich, cucumber sandwich, or whatever. And you know, just make yourself feel feminine. And then when you get out and about, you're gonna be like, I like the way I felt when I was doing all those extra things for myself. You know, and it's gonna, you know, spill over into your everyday life and how you act. It's it's a fantasy. It's like it's fun. It's a, it's like your inner child. You know, go back to your inner child and play play dress up. You know, go back to your inner child and play make believe. You're by yourself, or you know, be in your own world. Even if you live with other people, it don't matter. I'll sit up here and dress up like I ever want, and they used to it by now, so whatever. <laughs> okay, so just make it a habit, and then it will just exude everywhere. And it will become easy and you'll influence other people who are masculine to become more feminine. So you're going to be helping other women at the same time as well as, as yourself. And if you have daughters, you'll also be helping them by, you know, an exam being an, an example. You'll also be helping yourself by, you know, attracting masculine men to you or attracting extra help to you. And you don't have to do as much. Mm hmm. Beauty standards change every day. I'm happy being a size two. Girl, if I was a size two, you ooh. girl, if I was a size two, you I wouldn't be in front of this camera screen. I'd be gone somewhere. But <laughs> trying to I'd be on Instagram. Sucking in, like still sucking in. Like, oh y'all see me, I'm a size two. I'm still on Instagram, but I'll be on there way more than. Thank you, Melissa Sprinkle Sprinkle. How to deal with a guy that is shy? I don't want to make the first move, girl. How do you get him to open up? Girl, you don't. If he's too shy to deal with you, he don't want you, period. Sprinkle Sprinkle. Thank you, Melissa. There is no such thing as a shy guy. When a guy see what he want, he gonna get it, period. He ain't shy. You in denial. Sprinkle Sprinkle. If he want it, he gonna go get it. He's a man. If he want it, he gonna go get it. There is no such thing. He's not shy. He don't. He ain't trying to make the first move. Okay. If he want it, he gonna get it. Think about that. If he wants you, he will come get you. There is no way to motivate him. There's no way to tell him, "Oh, come get me." If if making eye contact and smiling at him ain't enough, then he don't want you. Okay, a lot of women don't realize this. It's not that he's shy, it's that he don't want you, baby. Sprinkle, sprinkle. And I'm sorry, I know a lot of women don't want to hear that. If he's not coming up to you every day, looking in your eye and trying to get you to go to lunch or trying to, you know, make you laugh or smile or trying to get you to, you know, meet him somewhere, he don't want you. Okay. Because a man know what he want. Nah, he could actually be shy. Then he's feminine. And I don't want no feminine man, period. Thank you, Jessica. Sprinkle, sprinkle. He wants you to chase him. No thanks. He could be shy by himself. If you want me, come get me. Okay, shy sperm. Don't get the egg. Okay. 
think of it gonna make an exception for a shy sperm who had nope either come either come on or get out the way and let make room for the next that's that's all I'm gonna say like we don't have time to deal with these type of men anymore because he's going to be shy when it comes to paying that bill, too. He's going to be shy when it comes to asking you to marry him, too. So what you want? I need somebody that know what they want and not afraid to come get it, period. If you got to go through all that, he ain't the one. Wrong target. <laughs> KK. KK. <laughs> She said, watch out, she right like that. Okay. He just that much into you. Oh, he just that. You shy, then you gotta break out of that shyness if you want me. Like that's that should be your attitude. Like you need to break out of that shyness if he wants you. She gonna be shy about that light me. <laughs> Shelly. Exactly. I'm giving bad advice this time. Oh, well, you step up or get out the way and make room for the next one. That's just my opinion. Like, there's women that will deal with that, and there's women who won't. While you still figuring out how to get a shy man to come on to you, I'm going to have like five or six, and you're going to be still wondering how to get the shy man to come on to you. You know what I'm saying? So, why waste your time? Remember, he's going to be shy with everything. He's going to be shy with that wedding ring. Shy with that bill money. Shy with the truth. Where you been? I'm shy. <laughs> I've been somewhere being shy. That's what I've been being. Oh, and the, the shy ones are the easiest ones to cheat on you because they shy. Oh, he couldn't do it for do that. He's too shy. Oh, he just shy. He might be just shy to you. Y'all remember Shy Brother? Shy Brother from the Five Heartbeats. Okay. <laughs> if you don't know, look it up. Shy Brother from the Heart Five Heartbeats. There you go. <laughs> just look it up y'all y'all find there's probably a clip on YouTube how much do you weigh at 5'9 none of your business sprinkle sprinkle okay you <laughs> you may dress friend but your voice sounds ghetto it is ghetto on here but when I'm get, when I'm after my money it ain't ghetto baby Okay. When I want your money, it's going to be, hi, how are you? Oh, you're so smart. Wow. I never knew that. Oh, my goodness. It's going to be like that. Okay. But when I'm speaking and I'm trying to get my point across, and I like to make people laugh, I'm going to talk how I talk. But when, I, when I'm playing the game, when I'm out there, I'm totally different. Okay. What are good examples of feminine celebrities? Mm, there's so many. Just pick. <laughs> I, I hate being put on the spot to ask names of movies and names of celebrities. But if y'all have some, list them below, please. Y'all can help her out. That Texas accent, that's right. It's called code switching. Yeah, code switching all the time. No one can code switch like a, like a woman, uh, a black woman, a, a woman of color. No one can code switch that quick, that fast. We got like eight personalities, period. Okay. We got multiple personalities with multiple personalities. <laughs> okay, our, our, our multiple personalities have multiple personalities. There you go. 
You don't never know who you're going to get today. <laughs> so, Antihu. Truth. It's good to be fake, dumb, well, more in a dizzy way or a fake, innocent, kind of naive way so I can scam him. Yep, yep. You know, I already think you're dumb anyway, so you might as well use that to your advantage. It's just the truth, they do. If any man, most men think that they're smarter than you, so let them think that and you take advantage of it. You are, it's already in your favor that they think that way. Okay. You have a first date for lunch in the pool, the pool, and the morning of he says change of plan. My son wants to go to shooting and would I like to go? First of all, that's the ghetto date. I'm not going to no pool. What else? Lunch and then go to the pool. Is this at a country club or something? Like, is this an exclusive pool? Is this a pool that most people can't get into? Is it a pool at his house? Does he just want to see you in a swimsuit? First of all, no. You taking me out, you spending money. Period. At his house. Girl, go to the shooting range, turn around and shoot him. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Just kidding, don't do that. Don't even go. Just cancel completely and go move on to somebody else. <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. Move on to another man. I wouldn't even entertain that. Mm -mm. First of all, you was going to go see him eat and have a bikini on, probably. He canceled to see you in a bikini to go shoot guns with his son. What type of priority do you think you are? You low on the totem pole, first of all. Second of all, that date was basically free. So he wasn't going to spend no money, barely. And he refused the chance to see you half naked. So to me, you not the prize. Move on. Mm -hmm. What does my husband think about your YouTube channel? He thinks it's wonderful. He supports me 100%. Okay. Uh, how much is a consultation? I don't give prices on uh, lives. Thank you, Sprinkle Sprinkle. Play up your fake dumbness. But don't make it like it's obvious. Ask questions. That's how you do it. It's easier if you just ask a bunch of questions like you don't know the answers to. Um, <laughs> Another video on ways to persuade men to do what you want. Look good and look them in the eye and ask them. the main one. Gotta look good when you're asking. Before you ask a man anything, make sure you look good. That's number one. Smell good, look good. That way, they're gonna say yes. Hmm. All right. You miss Kenneth, you tell him we need some masculine energy in here. Yeah, he might be he might be working. He might be asleep. We don't know. I don't even know what time it is. What time it is. Oh, it's late. Um what do you do if you have trust issues with men and don't believe half the I, I don't believe nothing nobody's saying, so I probably have trust issues with everybody. 
Um, to have trust issues with if anybody means you're smart. If you don't trust someone with your life fully, that means you have trust issues. So most people have trust issues. Basically, this means don't look for your happiness in other people. Have a goal. Only dating for benefits. The trust has nothing to do with your goal. Okay. If you don't trust a man, act accordingly. Don't let him know that you don't trust him. Just act accordingly. For example, if he tells you something and you don't believe it, don't say, oh, I don't believe you. Say, oh, that's nice. And get what you were trying to get out of him in the first place. Don't, don't let the emotions fool you. If you was trying to get him to give you money and he just lied to you, still get the money. Okay. If you were trying to get him to put that down payment on that car and he just lied to you, still get that down payment. It's, you're going to lose anyway. You might as well lose and drive off the lot. You might as well lose and have your pockets full as you exit. Or you might as well keep making him pay for all the lies that he tells. See, it's a beneficial thing for you. Um, you don't have to bust him. You just have to make him spend money. If you care more about him being honest and truthful, and him paying them bills and you benefiting in the relationship, then you're probably not going to find what you're looking for. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Look for, have your goals. And once you accomplish your goals, then decide if it's worth staying or not. So, look, uh, I'm going to date this guy and this is what I want to get out of him. Car, I want my car paid off. I want my credit cards paid off. I want him to invest in my business without having to pay him back. And I want to save up this much money on my own because he's paying my bills. This is how you date. And, and when you get to the point where all your goals have been checked off and he still wants to stick around, then you bust him. Then you say, well, I know about that time you did A, B, C, and D. I want this purse. Now he's invested all this money in you. He's not going to just let you go. He's going to keep investing. You see? So if you don't have a beneficial relationship, you're losing. Okay? Check off all your goals. Then decide if you want to keep them. And if you, if you want to bust them then, then you make him pay for you to stay. And that's it. <laughs> yep it works where the wildflowers are you've done it right it does work <laughs> okay best profile pic and information about yourself a profile pic with some sunglasses on and information about myself it says uh Click and find out. Inbox me and find out. I'm not putting all my information on there. Blur you. Look, it's a mystery. Come find out. You have three daughters. What are some ways you teach your daughters femininity at a young age, or do you think just pick it up? Um, a lot of times they pick it up from me because all my stuff is always laying around. So, like, if I have some earrings laying around, like, Sasha will start playing with them. If I have perfume laying around, I'll smell it because they have sprayed it. I leave stuff hanging around so that they can play with it. And then before long, they're putting it on. <laughs> they're like, Sasha coming in there with a winged eyeliner on. I'm like, how do you know how to do that? I watched the makeup tutorial. <laughs> okay. Um, I try to watch feminine girly movies. Like, like we have movie night. Um, I decorate the house like for seasons and that's a feminine thing I think I always have candles burning I try to keep my room decent or clean I tell them you know uh, go go comb your hair go brush your teeth go take a shower go put on deodorant you know I keep reminding them of their hygiene practices it's, I make it a priority 
I make it a priority to try to look cute and and tell them, oh, you look cute today. I compliment them when they do, you know, a little outfit or whatnot. I said, oh, you look so cute today. Oh, you want me to do your hair or you want me to, um, you know, you want to go to the mall. You want me, to, you know, I took Layla shopping today at the mall. I bought more stuff for her than I bought myself. But um, she said that she wanted to start wearing more skirts. So I took her to buy her some skirts and whatnot. And so um, then I bought some perfume for her. And so it's just you're spending time and um, listening to them. She's, she's going to start her own business and um, got to go and buy the products um, and get her store set up. She might look at me crazy. So just lead by example. Whatever you do, they're going to follow period. You don't have to tell them what to do. They're going to follow you. If you're if you're successful, they're going to follow you. They might not follow you exactly. They might not like your style exactly because they're young. Young people experiment with their styles, but they're going to follow your lead as far as how you become successful. And they watch other people interact with you. They're going to see. So the best way is by example, period. Okay. Um, but don't, you know, I always catch myself sometimes because when people are young or when they're adolescents, they don't know everything yet. And so don't be too hard on them because they don't know everything yet. You got to catch yourself, if, especially if you have daughters. You have to teach them. Don't, you know, say, oh, you need to do that better. Teach them. Lead by example. Okay, because they don't know. Um... The younger they start, the better. Mm -hmm. Sasha asked for a mermaid tail. She went to a pool party. She took a mermaid tail with her. I'm like, go ahead, Ariel. At least you, you know. You have a friend that wants to talk on the phone all the time. She said in her career, I want to focus on the goals. How do I minimize combos without losing friendship? Yeah, I don't talk on the phone, period. I hardly talk on the phone unless I'm doing consultations. Um, my battery is about to go off. My charger is broke. Can I call you back later? There's somebody at my door. I only have 10 minutes to talk. You know, give a time limit before you start the conversation. Girl, I'm going to talk to you. I only got about 10 minutes. Because I got to do this or, this, you know, the, the lawn man or, you know, I got a delivery coming, you know, I got to go check the mail. I only got about 10 minutes. So, you know, give them a time limit when you first get on the phone. That way they're not disappointed. What is the male equivalent to this? Because sex can't be possibly it. What, what do you mean the male equivalent to this? Being masculine? Paying bills? Helping people? Taking uh, the lead role as far as planning dates and, you know, allowing you to be a feminine woman? <laughs> What do you put in your online profile of things you enjoy and what you are looking for? I enjoy um, anything on the water. That means I like men with boats because I, I need some money. I enjoy gourmet food. I enjoy wine. If you're a wine connoisseur, put all the stuff that costs money, basically. Don't make it too long. I enjoy so many things to put in this profile. You're just going to have to find out. I enjoy too many things to put in this profile, but just to name a few. Anything that has to do with water, but make it sound weird and freaky. Anything that has to do with water. <laughs> uh, 
I love tasting new foods on my tongue. <laughs> Never gave my time. What? I just don't see why a man would invest in a woman if she doesn't bring him a return on his investment. Because a woman is a prize, baby. Not an not something to bring you a return. Okay. The return is when she returned home. <laughs> okay. Every night. When she returned home, there go your return. Period. When she leaves the house and come back, there go your return. When she takes herself totally off the market for you and stop dating other men, there go your return. Okay. When she gives you some without you buying her something, there go your return. <laughs> if you're looking for an exchange, then go find a um a, a lady of the night. They'll give you a return quick. You get the same day turn around quick. Just like the man before you, an hour before you, and the man an hour after you, okay? Mm. Why do the men keep saying they're the prize? Because they're feminine, girl. They was raised feminine, period. That's why they think they're, they're confused. If they're the prize, then, you know, great. More power to them. But they're the, they're the prize as a feminine man. I mean, we can't argue that they're the prize if they're the feminine man. They're looking for a masculine woman. A masculine woman will find them as a prize. Okay? There are masculine women out there. There's a There are women out there who you can't pay to be feminine. They are for them. Okay, There are women out there that will break their necks to pay the check. They for them. Let them have them. Okay? There's some wires crossed, but, you know, just like, you know, you can't be gay if you are a, a trans and you marry a, a trans, but y'all the same, but opposite, but y'all can still make a baby. You know, it, it, it works out, whatever. Let them have each other. They're not for you. What was that? What was that one couple where the, the woman was trans and she turned into a man, but she had the baby? And the uh, the wife was really, you know, born male. Okay. So let that feminine man be the prize to that masculine woman. That's not for you. Leave it alone. As soon as he put out the mouth that he's the prize, he ain't looking for you. He's looking for Pignesha, Bonetta, looking for Barbara the Builder. He's not looking for you. You are too soft and too feminine. And he doesn't want you. He wants a masculine woman. Okay? Leave him alone. Don't be mad. Don't get upset. He's feminine. Period. You can't change that. That's how he thinks. That's how he was raised. He's not making any effort to become more masculine. He's comfortable in his feminine nature. And let him be. Just like there are masculine women comfortable being masculine. They're seeking a feminine man. Let them find each other. Okay? That has nothing to do with you. It's the same thing. You know, if you run into someone who likes the same sex, you don't get upset or offended. Oh my God, I can't believe you're gay. No, you all oh, like more power to you. That's the same way you gotta be when you run across these men who are looking for a masculine woman. Oh, okay, well, good luck with that, sir. I mean, ma'am, I mean... Good luck with that. <laughs> so, have fun. <laughs> saying no to a proposal? That ring fake, I'm saying H no. Oh, I heard on no. If the ring real, I'm saying yes, and then I'm going to change my mind and say no and keep that ring. How you doing? 
You know, boom. Get the ring, say yes, then change your mind, keep the ring. Okay. You think I'm playing? Say yes, get the ring, then change your mind, keep the ring. Or quote unquote, lose the ring. Then you ain't got to give it back. Should have had insurance on it. Should have had insurance. Okay. How much should you go with a man 80 20? Is he your son or your roommate? Which one? There's my answer. Do you know um, when you go through a divorce, you split assets? So are you in a relationship, a marriage, or a divorce? Are you divorcing every month? Splitting stuff down the middle? Are you in a settlement every month? What you doing? Mm -hmm. Saying no to a proposal still want him to pay the girl say yes and then never get married. Yes, I'll marry you. Give me my ring. Pay all my bills so I can save up. And then I'm going to change my mind at the last minute. I just not ready for marriage or I think you're doing something wrong. Pick a fight, girl. Get the ring, get the money, get the bill, save your money. Then change your mind at the last minute. <laughs> or start acting a little crazy. Start talking to stuff that ain't there. Hi. Who are you talking to? You don't see them? Uh, no. They see you. Girl, get out of it. Get out of it. But make sure you keep your bills and get your ring. <laughs> I think our house is haunted. No, I'm serious. We need to call in a medium. Start acting real crazy and weird. Buy a Ouija board, leave it in the front uh, table in the room. I was trying to contact the, the voices. You're going to be like, scared to sleep. <laughs> I gotta get creative. Like life is fun. Y'all making it so stressful. If you don't, if you don't want to get married, take that man money, get his ring, and have fun. Okay, shoot. Make a YouTube vlog. I'm gonna prank my soon to be ex fiance. I'm trying to see how to lose a man in ten days. <laughs> See if the Ouija board works. Oh, and record it. Put the hidden camera in there. Oh, that didn't work. Let's see what next. What else I can do? I'm gonna go buy a snake. Ooh, it's our new pet. <laughs> that didn't work either. Hmm. You can blow up on YouTube. Um. Get creative. He said he's gonna kill you. No, he's not because there, there's a hidden camera. He ain't gonna get away with it. Get you one of them uh, light sensor cameras that, that come on. You can get it at Best Buy. Y'all know how those movies, uh, Paranormal State, you know how to make those movies with the hidden cameras and <laughs> make a movie video like that. And you could be like, 
I'm gonna see if he's gonna break up with me. How how much can he really take? Diaries of get a right. But y'all have to stay anonymous. You can't tell them who you are. Okay. <laughs> stay anonymous. Right. Don't worry then about what she attacked you attract to your doctor. You had a phone talk explicit. Ooh, yes, a phone conversation. Nothing physical though. He always calls me beautiful. How can I eventually make him my sponsor? I'm 21. He's 50. Show up to his office with a wait till fall or winter. Show up to his office and one of the little trench coats with the little little Burberry trench coats or a little little tan trench coat with the towel or a little long black one or whatever and some boots or some heels and on, have your lingerie on under it. When you get in this office, take it off and be like, tie it back up and walk out. You gonna be calm? Be like, I just wanted to say hi. It's hot in here. All right, I'll see you later. Bam, be gone. You look. You gonna be shaking, you know, old people shake. Stuff gonna be, he ain't gonna need no Viagra because it's gonna be natural. He gonna have to make his two o'clock patient wait an extra 30 minutes so he can calm down. And before you even get to your car, he's gonna be texting. Oh my God, I want you. Okay. In and out. I mean, you bold enough, you 20 something, you can do stuff like that, girl. Don't, you know, when I was 21, that was the norm, okay? When you 20 something, go be, be 20 something. There you go. That's how you get them. <laughs> it's almost called a word. It has to be believable now. It has to be believable. You gotta put September first and get on go ahead. <laughs> Meanwhile, keep them interested on the phone. No, don't send them no pic. You got to see it in person. If you sending him pics, you sending everybody else pics. If you bold enough to get up and go down there, that's different. Okay? If he got pics, everybody got pics. Don't do that. Go in there, show him the real thing, get in and get out. Don't let him touch. Just be like, how to go. <laughs> You're going to be blowing your phone up. Oh, I got to see you. Let's go out on a date. Meet me at the mall, baby. I need some clothes, as you can see. <laughs> and he ain't going to even, he going he gonna to catch the joke, but he's still okay. I'm going to buy you some clothes. I don't have no clothes. That's what happened. Why are you walking around like that? Well, you can meet me after work and take me and buy me some clothes. <laughs> okay. Live in fantasy land. Life is too short to be serious all the time. Do fun stuff. That's what makes them remember you. That's what makes them want to be with you and excited to be with you because life is not going to be boring and predictable with you. Who is she going to She's gonna stop by and flash me and told me to take her to buy her some clothes. Okay. Like they're gonna say no to that. <laughs> How to be more bold? Girl, three shots of tequila. Uh, okay. I did that to James one time. 
we still talk about it 18 years later, 19 years later. You, you still remember. I remember that time when you came over my house and uh, we was going to go out and you had on that coat and you, all you had under there was lingerie and, and we still went out. And the whole time that we were out, I knew that you didn't have anything on under that. And I was like, oh, my God, I can't believe this crazy chick. Mm-hmm. People were like, is it hot? Don't you want to take off your coat? No, I'm fine. He would just laugh because he knew. It was like an inside joke. Are you sure it's hot? You don't want to take that off? No. Some people probably figured it out, but you know. Then, like, you know, on the way home or the, or the drive home, you take, you open it up and be like, ooh, it's hot. <laughs> so, yeah, you got to do little stuff like that. They will never forget you. you. Nobody else will compare to you, and your life, their life will seem unpredictable, and that's what they like. They like that. They don't like boring, predictable stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That is a big turn on over. And it was a, it was cute too. It was like a corset with the garter belt and the matching panties with the uh, black lace thigh highs and heels. I had a black trench coat on. Yeah. <laughs> Do you keep doing that after being married? No. Not after no kids and all that kind of stuff, unless you want to. Mm -mm. It's too late then. They already trapped. That's only if you want to. I don't know. It's optional. <laughs> Memories are good enough. You remember that time? Like, Just get them to just talk about it. That's good enough. You remember that time I did that? <laughs> That's that's all you need. They remember it, and that's just the same as doing it. Especially after you get married. Remember that time I did this? <laughs> yeah, you were crazy back then. Ha ha ha. He like yo. He would be talking to the kids. Your mom used to be wild. She was crazy. Ha ha ha. You only knew what your mama used to do. <laughs> as long as you remember, that's all that matters. Mm -hmm. I walk around the house with short out with short dresses on. He be throwing stuff down, asking me to pick it up. Okay. It's like an old man do. Can you pick that up for me? <laughs> um, I know what you're trying to do. I'll squat. I don't bend around squat. Oh, I got good knees. My knees feel good. <laughs> Drop it like that. <laughs> Y'all, back in the old days, well, it's not old days for me, but back in the early 2000s, late 90s, we didn't have, you know, it wasn't about twerking, it was about dropping it like it was hot. I said, I could still drop it like it's hot. Uh, yeah, but that strong knees. So yeah, you know, it's about the fantasy. The major part about luring in a man is that fantasy. The stuff that most women won't do. The stuff that's unpredictable. And also, if you do it in a feminine way, like say you do the lingerie thing. You do some cute pink lingerie or some white or something sexy. You can even do red if, you, if it's like Valentine's or whatever. To keep that feminine in there. You know. Wear feminine lingerie. Um, 
So automatically, you make that man feel masculine. And men like to feel masculine. It's almost like a drug. So the more masculine they feel, the more you're in there, the more they want to be around you. And they get around a masculine woman, they're going to feel repelled by them and emasculated by them. They want to get away from them as soon as possible. And guess who they're calling up to make them feel masculine once again? You, hi, hi. I'm going to go off to dinner. Let's go. You know, meet you at the mall. Okay. So just remember that. Mm-hmm. Getting their heads. That's where it starts, right? Can't forget her. Hmm. All right, y'all, that's enough. I gotta go. This is almost four hours long. But I thank everybody who stayed from the beginning to the end. You are a trooper. Hit that like button, y'all. Click like. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Share the video to anybody who needs to, you know, hear the video. Most of the stuff, like the beginning is a haul. The first probably 30 minutes is a haul. And then after that is the, you know, the good old advice. Um, but thank you all so much. I really appreciate y'all. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Have a good evening. Don't forget to go get y'all a little instant manicure from Expose Nails. I did put the links below. Um, if you like that Ted Baker um, bag and all those accessories, you get 50% off. I mean, $50 off if you use my code. Not my code, but my link. I don't know. Whatever. The thing I put down there. Um, and also, like, if you purchase from Ted Baker, they'll send you the same link and you can give it to someone else. And many people can use it. So you can give it to your friends. So this is like my friend, my friendship to y'all. Okay. And you can send y'all's link to y'all's friends once you purchase from them. Okay. Also, what else did I talk about? Oh. Oh, my jewelry. My Chanel. This is the silver bar individualized or personalized necklace from Silvax. And I did link them below and I did link this necklace below. You can put any name you want on it. You can put your name, you can put Chanel, Dior, whoever's name that you want to put on there. I put my name on one, a little gold. And then I also did a gift for someone um, it comes with a cute little silver um, cleaner. It comes in this little cute box. You can get anything you want put on it. They even have the necklaces with the hanging letters. You could do Chanel on that because they have a That's what I might do next. So it's cute. It's a good gift idea. And the link is below. Um, thank you. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Good night. You said you just missed me. Oh, thank you. Stanker. Stonker. You appreciate my knowledge. Thank you, Starlene. Sprinkle, sprinkle, y'all. Um, don't forget to take advantage of all the good deals in the links below. Because I y'all know I have to take time, copy and paste, and put all that stuff down there. If y'all want some level of cosmetics, that link is down there too. Um and also, if y'all want the nails, the discount code is down there, too. But thank y'all so much. Appreciate it. See y'all in the next one. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Stay feminine. Stay cute. And put in the comments, like, this is what I want y'all to do if y'all stick around for a second. Go to the permanent comments and put in some good feminine ideas, like, on how to spend a feminine day at home. What is the perfect feminine day at home? Do you, what movies do you watch? What are you going to do? How are you going to pamper yourself? What do you plan on wearing? Because a lot of women, um, you know, they need a little bit of help and they need to, to be inspired by other women. So the more feminine women can inspire, you know, women that are working on their femininity so we can all help each other. So go ahead and put that in the comments on the permanent, you know, uh, 
um, comment section so that other women can get inspired because, you know, we can all help each other, basically. So I'll see y'all later.